everyone, welcome back. I just realized that I didn't put the points back on, so <laughs> let me do that really fast. Turn off the tour shell one and put on the other ones. Okay, we're good. We are all good. I was like, we can't, we can't be having people redeeming shell tour <laughs> things today. <laughs> uh, we're not gonna do that again today. We're gonna play the not so worry challenge. So that should be kind of fun. Anyway, hi everyone, welcome, welcome. Who's ready to sim? <laughs> uh, I'm very excited about this, honestly. This should be kind of fun. Oh, I also have my, wait, ignore this. The Among Us scene was like at the top of my list. Wait for it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> now we're gonna play the Not So Very Challenge. Now we can game. Um, also earlier, this is gonna sound really dramatic, but somehow earlier today, when I was, I like went to get the mail and I was coming back inside through my front door and I like swung my hand. I don't know what I did, but I hit my hand so hard on the front door. I'm gonna have like a giant bruise on my hand, like right here from where I like slammed it into the door. I didn't like close the door on my hand. I just like whacked the door <laughs> and now my hand hurts. How did I pull that off? How, what kind of an injury is that? Anyway, so that's my update from today, <laughs> is that I hit my own hand into the door and now I'm in pain. But anyway, Mass, thank you for the 30 month reset, by the way. Thank you so much. Let me load back into this uh, save really fast. So, how does one explain that to someone, right? Like, oh, what's that bruise on your hand, Kayla? Oh, you know, I just hit the door. Huh? <laughs> I was just trying to get the mail and I hurt myself. <laughs> Fairy, thanks for the 12 months. Uh, and Arthi with the 12 months as well. Thank you, Paul, so much. Dora Smell with the nine months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, God. Okay. Well, we had a bit of an incident last time. I'll explain in a second once um, everything's all loaded in. So, <laughs> basically, I'm dating this woman, Tanya, and I'm also on a date with her son, which is just messed up. It's just messed up. So... But that's the plan. <laughs> and we're gonna dump them both soon. Um, but we were, yeah, we were dating, yeah. So, <laughs> um, don't worry about it, okay? <laughs> Jen, thanks for the 34 months. Ava with the 14 months. Sharon, thank you for the five gifted subs. And Thea with the 15 months, thank you so much. Uh, Madison, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have Grave marry this guy, Eric. Um, I went looking for sims that had the neat trait, because one of the rules for Not So Berry is that you have to marry a neat sim. Um, that's like the, one of the main things in Gen 4, is you have to have three exes and then marry a neat sim. And the idea that I was kind of thinking when I wrote the rules was that you would basically like date a lot of people until you finally found a sim that was neat. <laughs> that was like, that was what I was trying to go for. Um, so we have to marry a neat sim. So I think we're gonna marry Eric because he is neat. And also he has a daughter whose name is Bonnie. I didn't make him, he was just like a townie that the game generated, but she was really cute. And I liked the idea of that. So I think we're gonna do that, but they haven't actually started dating yet or anything. <laughs> um, as you can see, we just have like a little bit of a friendship bar, but we'll get there eventually. So that is the plan. That is the plan. <laughs> Cameron, uh, Nina, and Sammy, and Great Olivia, thank you all for the resubs too. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna get up to today. I probably should just leave. I know we were on a little bit of a date with my girlfriend's son, but, <laughs> but I probably should leave because uh, it's getting late. We need to go home soon. Um, 79 graves, Kayla, 79, yeah. You wanna see him? You wanna see them? <laughs> Do you wanna see my graves, chat? I'll show you my graves, hang on. Maybe we can get to 80 today. I don't know, we'll see. When did I fully move them in? I think, um, like last week. Last week we moved in. I built the house like at this point, like a week and a half, two weeks ago, and then we moved in uh, a couple days later, so. Anyway, here's my graves. I wasn't kidding. I don't, I don't joke about this. 
<laughs> you would be proud I accidentally started a fire IRL in college today. You started a fire by accident in college. Oh my god. You say I would be proud because you're making a Sims joke, but in real life, that's my literal worst nightmare. I have nightmares about fire. I'm terrified. Fire is my, like, one of my most, like, biggest fears. I'm so, so afraid of fire. <laughs> I hope everything's okay. Did you like did you like burn something in the microwave or something like that? Are you okay? Is everything all right? <laughs> Lexi, thank you for the three months by the way. Uh, oh my goodness. Do you have fire nightmares too? I know. I'm really really scared of fire. It is no good. Um, how far am I into this challenge? Yeah, friend, we're on Gen 4 of Not So Berry. It's technically Gen 14 of this legacy, but it's Gen 4 of Not So Berry. I basically did 10 generations of like a regular legacy, and then I started Not So Berry with Gen 11. Um, so when we're done, it'll be 20 generations. <laughs> um, but the, yeah, we're on Gen 4 of Not So Berry right now, so. How many of those Sims died from fire? I don't think any of these Sims died in a fire wing. Um, I say that. What are you? Oh no, he died. I don't know how he died, but I don't think it was a fire. I don't think anyone died in a fire. There was a lot of pawns. There was a lot of... I don't know. Old age. <laughs> Didn't want to die from a toilet fire. I don't think anyone in this save died from a toilet fire. In my YouTube channel they have, but I don't think anybody in this save has died from a toilet fire. I'm pretty sure at least. But that was- I've got two legacies that I play, one on YouTube and one on Twitch, so... You might be thinking of the YouTube one. Because <laughs> we did have a toilet fire in that one. We have a fire toilet in this one too, but no one's died from it. Um, so sad. <laughs> so sad. Okay. Speed up through the night. We have to just wait because my house is haunted, so... I have a lot of ghost problems in the night, which makes it hard for my sims to have a full speedy night's sleep, but... How are the toilets glowing? They're not- I mean, they're kind of are, but these are, um, not that one. That's my fire toilet. This one is one of the toilets that came with Snowy Escape. Um, so it's like a fancy toilet. It has like a built-in bidet. Um, and it's, I guess, got some lights in there in the toilet bowl. <laughs> uh, but that- yeah, that's why. It's the Snowy Escape toilet, so. Um. What's the portal in front of the house? This is, uh, something from the scientist career. You can travel to the alien world from that, so. Exciting stuff! <laughs> exciting, exciting stuff. Um, oh, Lisa, you can find the rules. If you just Google Not So Berry, you can find the rules. We also have a link in the chat. Um, both good options. Uh, Tiggy and Nat and Mai and Alice and Rinny and Lazy and Ginger, thank you for the subs. Okay, I'm warning you right now, ads are about to play. I can't stop them. But as they're about to play, all my sims are gonna do is sleep through the night. So you're not gonna miss anything, I promise. <laughs> I promise you won't miss anything. Uh, this ghost is eating my food! Oh my god, and it's your birthday, Sarah! Happy birthday! That's so exciting! Um, Shiny and Emma and Mira, thank you, thank you, thank you for the subs and bits. Emma, I am really excited about the new kits. Um, I'm looking forward to them. Okay. Okay, as soon as everybody's, like, done sleeping, which we can wait for a little bit longer. I guess maybe she could get up. Um, oh, Sharon, happy! Uh, happy first day of your new job. That's so exciting. Thank you for the bits as well. I really appreciate that. Um, okay, so today, uh, I guess we'll just try- Did you spoil these? Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> or did you make them and they already spoiled? Or were they just outside and then you brought them in? Either way. Either way. We'll just cook some fruit salad. <laughs> Cozy Gamer and Sweet uh, and Shiny, thank you for the substance of everybody. Okay. Put that away. Can you probably clean that up too? Oh my goodness. Hello, Shella, how are you? What you been up to today so far? Come along, come along. Okay. You know, Shrimp, I get asked about, like, am I gonna extend the Not So Berry Challenge, uh, so often? Like, are you gonna update the Not So Berry Challenge? I- I don't really ever want to, like, add to the existing Not So Berry Challenge, because it's so long already, it's already 10 generations. If I ever were to do that, it would probably be like a 2.0 kind of deal, like a second one altogether. Um, but also, to an extent, 
like the the community has kind of like taken the not so berry challenge and and let it take on a life of its own like people have made like um other people have made base game versions people have made not so berry extended versions so like there are things like that out there um that exist and i don't necessarily know if i i need to do that like there like people have made stuff like that the community has kind of done that um and i think that's kind of cool like how it's become a thing that like everyone is a part of and, and like it sort of lives on in its own way like i don't know i um so i don't know if i would ever make an extended version of it myself i certainly well, i wouldn't extend it but if i made a second one that would be different that'd be like a second one you know i wouldn't make like a you know gen 15 or whatever though <laughs> oh i think that's too much it would be like a, a new one or something um if i were to make something uh fresh but oh hi snap hello Oh my goodness. Sorry, I just got sorry, I just got so distracted. Dan just sent me um the the wedding invitation for his friend. This is so exciting. <laughs> I just saw like a, a picture on Discord and I got really excited about it. Well that's fun. Okay. Well <laughs> looking forward to that. Oh, okay. I told you there was a cat here. <laughs> we have a cat. She has come to say hello. Alright, you need to get up too, buddy. You need to come use the bathroom and take a shower and stuff. Actually, sing in the shower, yes. Yes. When my YouTube legacy is going to have 10 generations, are you going to stop recording it? So, Kat, I don't really know what I'm gonna do after the YouTube legacy. Um, I do know that I think that we'll let it stop after 10 generations and we'll do something new. Um, because we'll have been doing it for a couple years at that point. Um, we've already been doing it for a couple years. <laughs> we still have a lot of time until we get there, though. Um, but yeah, I think I'd like to do something different. Obviously, I love the YouTube legacy, and we could use the same Sims, but like in a different way, kind of like how we did this um, with Not So Berry after the other legacy, but I don't know what it'll be yet. But we would we would make something new. We're on Gen 8 right now on the YouTube uh, channel, so. But besties, we can't be thinking about that yet. <laughs> we gotta think about our current situation. <laughs> one step at a time. We gotta we gotta take this one step at a time. We're We're in the middle of something right now, so we don't need to worry about that just yet. Um, we don't need to worry about that just yet. It's literally gonna be like months and months and months and months away, so... <laughs> um, but anyway, I don't know. I've got some ideas, but I don't really have a plan officially yet that we'll do, so... Um, okay, you finish eating your snacks. You're upset, I think, because of your fears. Grow up! <laughs> Grow up! Um, and, and Brooklyn and Nora and Catherine and Grace and Jenny and Bloom and Laos and Holly and Brittany and Eden and Purple and Ray and Jay and Phobia and everybody. Thank you for the subs and stuff. I hope I didn't miss anything. Um, oh my goodness. Okay. So, do you have work today? Yes. And you need to get level 4 of the Charisma skill. Um, so I might see about forcing him to just go talk in the mirror. Um, see if we can build that Charisma skill in the meantime. And then you, Storm, also have work today. Um, but we also talked about maybe trying to do some dating. So maybe I'll work on that too. Um, okay, my cat is licking my hand. <laughs> um, you like the fears? Add some challenge to the game. Do you know what, book lover? I'm with you. I like the fears too, and I like how they add challenge to the game. I'm, I'm totally on the same page as you. The problem is, I think that the fears maybe show up too easily. Like, I think that the fears, um, like for example, the fact that my sim has a fear of fire makes sense because we actually have fires a lot. But the fear of unfulfilled dreams and stuff appears way too often. Like, I think that needs some tuning to maybe appear a little bit less and then it, it would feel, um, I guess more, more worthwhile. I don't know, I guess it just, it loses its, uh, it almost loses its spark a little bit when it shows- Oh my god! I was gonna date you and you're digging in my trash can. When it shows up so often, it like isn't as uh, exciting anymore or is like useful for gameplay when it's when it's that commonly appearing, you know? When like every sim has that fear. It's just not as good. So, I don't know. That's kind of my thoughts on it though. Aza and Andrew and Bailey and Kate, thank you for the subs and stuff by the way. Um, Oh my gosh, my cat is just sat here like licking my hand. Are you? I know you can't see her because she's laying across my desk, but... 
Um, that's because you don't do the once it pops up? Yeah, purpley, I understand how it works. <laughs> I understand how it works. I understand how to get rid of fears and how they work. I'm just telling you that I think that they show up a little bit more commonly than they should. Um, and I, everyone agrees, <laughs> so. Uh, that's, that's not just a me opinion, but, um, I don't know. If I, if I think it was a little bit more rare, it would be a little bit more fun. So, that's kind of my thoughts on it. Um, <laughs> Eileen, thank you for the 22 months also. Um, okay. Well, we're not upset anymore. The conversation is pleasant. Trying to share some photos, see if I can get him to like me. Oh my god. I've called to inform you that your great great grand second once removed cousin's friend's grandpa has passed away and for some reason has left a vast fortune specifically to you. <laughs> I don't really want to do this. I don't really want to do this one. I don't want the money. You know, like I have so much already. I don't think I want the money. I'm gonna say no to it. I'm gonna say no to it. I am gonna get married so. I'm probably gonna get married fast. This guy, okay, so to give you some context, this guy, um, my brother, so this is Storm, her brother, Grave, used to date his brother, Brendan. And then Brendan uh, was a bully in high school, so we dumped him. Um, and then he died. I didn't kill him. He died, like, you know the story progression in game? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, he died, like, the game gave me a pop-up that he died in a fire, which is unfortunate for him. Um, but yeah, that's, that's who this guy is. It's my brother's ex-boyfriend's twin brother <laughs> so yeah there's a known bug nuclear where if you have wants and fears turned off in settings there's a known bug uh where it it keeps giving them to you unfortunately that's a common bug so <laughs> okay we're good friends we're being a little bit romantic i might compliment your appearance see about blowing a kiss come back come back come back Oh my god, I'm late for work. Oh, barely. It's only 2.08. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Off to work you go. See if you can- Okay, you are gonna work hard. Good. Very good. And I'm gonna keep trying to build their romance bar until he gets back. That seems like a good choice to me. Uh, Grave isn't that far into his job yet. I'd have to check again. Uh, Grave is currently- level Oh, he's level 4. So he's not low, necessarily. Um... But he's not, like, high into his job. And we have found our neat sim, Sam, but we haven't actually started dating the neat sim yet. Oh, you left me? Oh. Okay, that's fine. Well, we, we know who we're going to marry that's a neat sim, but we haven't started dating them yet. We will soon, though. We will soon. Okay, my cat keeps flicking her tail and, like, hitting my mouse. <laughs> You're being very cute, Snap, but do you want to go sit there so I can put a cat cam on you? Doesn't that look like a really cozy spot to sit? No, you can't see her. But... <laughs> are those graves in your yard? Yes, Beast, they are. Thank you for asking. <laughs> this is technically, technically it's Gen 14 of this family, um, but it's Gen 4 of Not So Berry. I just started Not So Berry like after Gen 10. And so we've been playing in this save for a while. <laughs> Uh, how long until you die, by the way? Honey is an elder. Um, they're getting up there in age, too. Okay, do you want to serve up some chicken stir-fry, maybe? See if you can make that while we wait. I feel like it's not enough graves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we need more. Also, the pet graves, everybody always gets real dramatic about this. I didn't do anything. You can't kill pets in The Sims, and I wouldn't. They all died of old age. This, I think, gives you a good idea of how long I've played in the save. Because, like, all of these sim- all of these pet sims have been, like, over many, many, many generations. The only way that pets can die is of old age, so... Um, this gives you an idea of how long I've been playing in the save before. A lot of these sims did not die of old age. But these ones did! These ones did! <laughs> so... Uh, Tomato wants to go to the romance festival? I'll go. Let's go to the romance festival with our dead mom, you know? Why not? Right? <gasps> what are you doing? Oh, she's just rotating. She's laying differently. That's all. <laughs> That's all, okay. Sure, why not? 
Oh, your Sims dog Mango died today and you actually cried. Peachy, it's so sad when Sims pets die. It's, I mean, it makes sense, but I understand. I understand. Well, maybe we'll come here and we'll get some tea, you know? Might as well. And then as soon as uh, Grave gets home from work, oh, not until nine, yikes. Okay, well, I was gonna say when Grave gets home from work, we can have him come out here, but he probably shouldn't. <laughs> He is working hard, yeah, don't worry. It's not going well for us, his fun's super low. I might go back to normal. Uh, Stu and Pumpkin and Salt and Mars and Letter and Indy and Jorby and Sammy and Outlander and Lucky and Flipsy and Annette. Thank you all for the subs and stuff. Thank you so much. Um, okay, well, I'm feeling flirty. Do you wanna get some food? That might be kinda cute. Get some ramen, you know? We're playing on normal lifespan short. Um, it's it's hard to do not so berry on other lifespans than that because there's a lot to do. It's definitely doable, but I wanted to have a little bit more time, so that's kind of the idea. Um, that's kind of the idea. Um, okay. Well, honey's having a bit of trouble with chopsticks. Why? Try harder. Honey is an elder, by the way. Maybe I should give them some new outfits. People wanted me to make Honey's hair yellow again, uh, even though they aged up into an elder, but now I feel like you can't tell that they're old. <laughs> now I feel like you can't tell, so maybe I should go back and um, give them a couple new clothing items. Okay, I think... Ooh, sorry, I put my phone down on my headphone cord and it made a weird noise in my ears. I don't think that you can hear the noise, I think that it's just in my ears, but... It's weird. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> Do a light yellow? No, 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 no. We're not doing blonde. Don't be silly. We can't do that. I don't think I, I don't know if I like this. Um, we're not gonna do blonde. It's the yellow gen. Yellow. This could be kind of cute. This feels appropriate. I kind of like it, actually. Um, why no blonde? Because it's the yellow gen! <laughs> it's the yellow generation of Not So Berry. That's the whole point. Uh, that's the whole thing. Um, I know you want me to make their hair lighter to show they're getting older, but I really don't want to... I'm not... That's not the vibes, chat. That's just not the vibe. Like, that's not the... That's not the vibes. <laughs> if we're gonna do that, I just make their hair gray. <laughs> um... It's okay, it's okay. Um, I like the yellow, the yellow is fun. I also think that these outfits are all right. Athletic's probably fine. Maybe we could get like some comfier clothes for sleepwear. That's not even yellow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, but the cheese hair is like the most important part of this whole thing. Honestly, this is kind of good. This is also all right, I feel like. Swimwear is probably fine. The hot weather outfit we could probably change. Um, maybe I'll just get some different pants. Honestly, I kind of am into these, these jeans. <laughs> I'm kind of into it, I'm kind of into it. Um, maybe I'll keep that. Cold weather, I think that's also probably fine. Okay, this'll do, we got a new outfit. Couple things change. That looks all right. They're an elder, yeah, Panther, yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Load back in, please. Please go a little bit faster. <laughs> I wanna be cool like them when I grow up. I'm with you, Renee, I'm with you. Maybe we could try and make some friends. Why are you all teens? This guy, maybe. I'm lonely. Um. Okay. Um. One second. Okay. Um. Maybe we could discuss our fear of death with this old man friend of ours? Sounds like fun. <laughs> okay, at nine o'clock, Grave will get home and then we can get, get a move on with this stuff. 
Um, okay. Oh, don't flirt. Oh my god. Ew. Ew. <sighs> Honey only dates aliens. <laughs> Honey had an alien wife, but she died, so may she rest in peace. Um, <laughs> she was old. It's not my fault. I didn't like- well, I did- okay, so I did kill Honey's alien wife, but like, not in a, um, not in like a bad way. It's like she was old and she was gonna die that day. Like, it was like her last day, the bar was glowing, and then I just put, um, you know, her in the pond and then she died. Sorry, I don't know, it's not my fault. I take no responsibility for this. <laughs> uh, H and Baby and Sid and Lissa uh, and Lauren and Fancy and Love for All Peoples. Thank you for the subs and stuff, by the way. Anyway, I did nothing. I am not responsible for this. Okay, well, my sim is like super bored. Um. Okay. Okay. I think... Maybe use the bathroom too after we forget. Then we should just go home. Because it's. The, our fun is so low, we're not doing well. Oh, my Sim's not freezing, Leo! <laughs> oh, no, 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 don't worry. Don't worry, my Sim's not freezing. Uh, he's just half alien, so he's like blue. Um, he's not freezing. He's just blue. So. Understandably confusing. I'm with you there. But he's not. He's fine. <laughs> he's just blue. <laughs> he's just blue. Um, all right, let's go back home, shall we? Um, <laughs> Lemonade, thank you for the tier two, 26 months and wondering, thank you for the six months also. Um, all right, come back, please. Come back, please. One sec. Um... All right, let's go maybe just watch some TV. That sounds like fun. Okay. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Mod business. Why must people always do things like this? <laughs> There's always something. <laughs> I'm just trying to play Sims. <laughs> I'm just trying to play Sims. All right. You'll get your fun up. You should be good now. So you could probably go back to sleep and then I'll send everybody else to bed too. And then tomorrow, does he have work? Yes. Boo. Okay. Well, tomorrow maybe. Oh, I didn't mean. I switched control instead of bringing the sim here. I didn't deserve this. <laughs> I didn't deserve this. Now I have to go back to the loading screens. <sighs> <laughs> Sam, Erica, thank you for the subs. Um. <laughs> One second. Okay. I think maybe you come. Okay, back home. Back home. <sighs> And then, then we can go to sleep. <laughs> and then we can be happy. Um, okay. Thank you very much. My goodness. Can I please build a graveyard sometime soon? Yeah, we've been meaning to build a new graveyard sometime soon, Nadia. Just for the record, not for this save. <laughs> this save, my graves stay in my front yard. But for my, like, save my YouTube channel, uh, the series that I do on my YouTube channel, that one I would build a graveyard for again. Because I've, I've got an old one, but it's running out of space. Um, not because I kept killing Sims, but because we've played, like, eight generations. Um, <laughs> I'm not, like, guilty of anything, okay? But <laughs> we do need a new graveyard soon, <laughs> so... We do need a new graveyard soon. All right. Everyone to sleep. And then we just wait. I'll save the game too. Then tomorrow, tomorrow, we will try and do some dating. Because we've got until 2 o'clock. That's enough time. Yeah, Froggy, I've been meaning to do the new grave for, graveyard for a while, but I haven't had enough time. Um, I've been very busy the past month or so. No, even longer than that. The move, it was the move, and then, like, there's just been too much going on. 
to graveyards, it's going to take a while. You got to put effort into that. <laughs> graveyards, that is no simple task, okay? <laughs> Are we going to have a grave room when uh, Orange Gen has their needs TLC apartment? Meg, I think we're gonna have to. I'm not really sure what the best way to go about it is, but when we move into the apartment, we're gonna need to figure out something for it. Um, but, I don't know. We got time for you to worry about that. Go back to bed. What are you doing? Charles, there's two gray sims, because this is the gray gen of Not So Berry. Um, their mom was an alien, so that's that's why. They're like half alien. So. Okay. I've got too much money. The alien mom is dead, so it's a little bit confusing. <laughs> but that is what happened. That is the reason. Um, okay. Put that away too. Oh, can I not? Can I put this in this trash can then? Yes, okay, money, money. Sounds good to me. Yeah, they were bored blue, uh, Leo, because their mom was an alien. Um, they don't have like alien uh, abilities, but they were blue. Um, but that's, that's pretty common um, with alien sims when you have kids with them, um, that they, you know, turn out half alien, so. Uh, okay, where they release The Sims for free? It's on Origin BP. That's like the EA's uh, game store. You can also get it on like PlayStation and Xbox and stuff if you've got those consoles, but you can play it on your computer on Origin, um, which is pretty fun. It's on Steam and stuff too, but if I were you, I would probably get it. I mean, you can get it on both because it's free, but if I were you, uh, playing it through like EA's thing is a little bit easier because you need to have like the EA account to access the gallery, so you might as well just do it through their thing, you know? Um, but yeah, it's free. The Sims 4 base game is just free. Everywhere. Steam 2, it's just free now. So, um, it isn't like on certain places it's free, and other places it's not. It's just the base game is free. So, um, Origin, I guess you're right. Origin doesn't still exist. It's like the EA app is what they call it now. There's a new version of it, but it's the same, it's the same thing. Um, just the EA app is where you can get it. Um, if you Google, like, where can I buy The Sims 4, it'll take you to the EA store or whatever. Um, it'll be easy to find, so buy because it's free. <laughs> um, you get it, but you know. All right. Well, today, as soon as they're all done eating, um, we are going to need to, well, I guess, okay, so we need to have our last exes. I dated Nadia. Obviously, I also dated Brendan in high school. Um, and then he died, <laughs> but I dumped him first. Um, now we're dating Tanya and her son, Martin, but I need to dump them because I, it's time for me to find the sim that I'm going to marry. Um, so I might bring them out some, maybe I'll go to this little park with Tanya and then break her little heart, you know? <sighs> Sounds like fun. <laughs> and then, and then we can go and get our actual husband, you know? Okay, I like your shoes though, lady, I won't lie. But unfortunately, um, it's time for us to break up. I've actually fallen in love with your son and I've, I've moved on from you. I don't wish to date you anymore. Um, speaking of your son, I might send him a sad text and see where he is. And then I'll dump him too. We'll move Storm out eventually, Cake, but we don't need to yet. Storm can live with us for a little bit longer um, until Storm is, like, set up and ready to move out on her own, you know? Uh, Pixie, Alexis, and Soup, and Beth, and Carmoon, and Moon, and Sammy, and Erica, thank you all for the subs. Well, I just left her there crying, and now I'm going to find her son so I can dump him. <laughs> okay, I'm not actually dating him yet. Oh, did you invite me to your house? Oh, I haven't been to her house yet. Oh, yikes. Um, Martin, how do I say this? I'd like to insult you and then maybe tell you to go away. And that'll probably do. Oh, uh, maybe I could like yell at, I don't know. No, no, come back. Oh, it's ruined. Ask to be friends. Yeah, I can ask to be friends, but I'm trying to stress him out first. Um. I want to do more more than one thing. He's gone! Oh, I lost him. 
Oh, he's right there. Okay. What did he do? Uh, well, I dated his mom. And also, he's not neat. And we have to marry a neat sim. So that's the main problem. <laughs> I'm gonna bully him first, though. Grave and Brendan are longer best friends. We were still best friends up until this point. I dumped him. No one else has asked me to be besties this whole time. Imply mother is a llama. Ooh. That's rough because I dated his mom. Insult. All right. That should be good. I think he got the picture. <laughs> Yeah, and he literally died, too. The ex literally died. I didn't kill him. He didn't die when we were dating. We dated in high school, and then I dumped him because he was a bully. And then when we were adults, story progression killed him in a fire. I got, like, one of those pop-ups, like, oh, Brendan has died. And it was a fire. So. Okay, <laughs> uh, okay, 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 okay. Can you come off this, please? Thank you. Well, I've got the guy that I want to marry. His name is Eric. We haven't actually started dating him yet and I've got work in a couple hours. So I might just do it after work or like tomorrow or whatever, but at least we're single now. So we don't need to worry about it anymore. <laughs> at least we've got that, you know? Okay. Everyone off to bed. Why are you're upset because of your stupid career thingy? You're upset because you're like fierce. It's so annoying. Maybe now that you're flirty, I can invite Kendall over again. Oh, don't send flirty text. No, 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 no. Invite over. Invite over. Yeah, the one that we're going to date has like serious dad vibes. It's perfect. Why did you just go back in there? Oh my god. Well, the guy. Maybe I'll just leave. The guy that we're going to date, um, the guy that Grave is going to date, he's got a daughter named Bonnie, which is so cute. Um, he's got like major dad vibes, which was exactly what we need because we need to, that's like kind of the whole point of this generation. Also ads are about to play, but we're just in a loading screen, so it should be okay. I'm warning you though, all you're gonna miss is loading screens. I won't do anything without you, don't worry. <laughs> it's just loading screens. Um, sushi and garlic and happy and pocket, thank you for the subs, thank you so much. Who are you? Brienne, Connor, maybe I'll say hi to her too. I might as well make a friend. I don't have a lot of friends. He left! Oh my god, he invited me here! Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. This is unbelievable! <laughs> Okay, we are back at this one. New place. Hopefully he won't leave this time. He probably has work and that's why he left. I can't deal with this, Brendan. I mean, sorry, I meant Kendall. Sorry, Brendan was the dead one. He has a dead twin called Brendan. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Um, that is no good. Um, that is no good. Did he leave again? Oh my god! Oh, we're cursed. He's invited me out to three bars. I think it might be a glitch, because this happens to me a lot nowadays. It's really annoying. <sighs> Sarah, Toya, Violent, Tails, thank you for the subs. It must be a glitch. Oh well. Okay, well... <laughs> Third time we've come to talk to this man. Hopefully he doesn't leave me this time. Maybe if I ask him to be my boyfriend, he won't leave. Are we already dating? We're not. See if we can get him to like me a bit more. I think it's like a glitch specific- Maybe I'll invite him somewhere myself. Maybe I will send, uh, invite him somewhere myself. No, so if you send us him a text, but not just any text euphoric, like a happy text or a sad text or a flirty text, sometimes the flirty text, they'll invite you out to like a bar, um, with a sad text, they might be like, oh, do you want to come over and hang out? Like, so you might get invited out by them if you send him a text like that, like an emotional text. 
I'm not sure it's because of work, because I'm pretty sure he doesn't even have a job. Because I don't think I gave him one. I think it's a glitch specifically with, like, when they invite you out. Um, because that's the only time I've ever seen it, is when they invite me out. And it, like, doesn't work. I'm gonna talk about marriage and see what happens. Oh, I think he liked it. Oh. Well, there you go. You missed Disney Dreamlight Valley. What do you mean, Anna? <laughs> I played it so much. It's only been a couple days since I last played it. We're gonna play it on Friday. It's really okay. <laughs> I swear, I feel like I can't win. No matter what I stream, people are like, mm, you shouldn't stream this. You should play something else. I understand. I love that game too. Don't worry. But we're gonna play it on Friday. Don't worry. Um, don't worry. Oh my god, he's in love with my sim. This is incredible. Thought it was broken? Yeah, they, they hot fixed it, Missy. I couldn't open it for about a day and a half. And then they patched it. I was having a loading bug where I couldn't even open Dreamlight Valley. Um, but they patched it, so I opened it yesterday. Um, and it worked. So, but I couldn't open it for a little bit. Because it was bugged. Come back! Talk to him. Well, they're like, pretty good together, I feel like. Who knew? Not everyone is criticizing you. I know, Cooper. <laughs> okay, so, love, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Even if people don't intend to criticize you, it's really hard- I can't even look at this right now. Sometimes it's really hard to have 50 people complaining about something and not take it that way, you know? Um, so sure, it's a me problem, but I hope you understand. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, though. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> um, in other horrible news, um, someone's going to propose to you? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Don't do that. You are not currently dating anyone. Who? Who is proposing to you? We just dumped two people this morning. No. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Donnie, Ali, Dr. Sims, thank you for the subs. That blank line is stressful. Yeah, don't don't get engaged to Sims that you that you don't know. Uh I would- I would like to know, uh, who I will be getting married to. <laughs> so, it's not blank on purpose, it's, it's a bug. The blank line is a bug, Avery, it's not- it's not intentional, so. Um. I don't think it would have been a neat sim. I think it probably would have been, uh, Martin. If it was gonna be anyone. Um. So, that- that's the, uh, the concern, so. Um, okay. Oh, how do I quickly remove plumb bobs to take good screenshots? Allie, great question. So if you press the space bar, it switches between the sim that you're on. So right now I can see the plumb bob because I'm selecting, like I have uh, this sim selected and I can see like his little thingy because he's in the group. If I press the space bar, it switches me to a different sim. And so uh, it gets rid of the plumb bob that I'm seeing because I'm like on honey instead. Um, you can also use a cheat to turn headline effects off, um, but it's sometimes, depending on what you need to do, like if you just want Plumbot to go away for a second, you can just press spacebar and it goes to a different sim. Also useful if you're trying to switch between sims, you can just press spacebar. Um, no, so Horny for Bees in tab, you can still see the Plumbot. Spacebar makes it go to the next sim. That's what they're trying to hide. Tab, tab, uh, goes to the camera mode. So. The cheat is headline effects off as well, um, if you need that one. But that one turns off all headline effects, and uh, you got to turn it back on. So if you can manage to do it with just the space bar, it sometimes is easier. So, all right, I'm bored with this sim. I'm going home. <laughs> I'm bored with the boyfriend, so I wish to return home now. Thank you for asking. Um. Okay. Goodbye, Kendall. I'll try and maybe hang out with you tomorrow. So. <laughs> oh, Plancy, thanks for the sub gift. And Jack and Julie and Donnie and Ellie, thank you for the subs too. Um, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, if you like turn headline effects off and then forget to turn it back on, you'll like try and ho hover over a townie's name and it won't show it. Um, Cause that's a headline effect like when you hover over their names. So, um, that cheat is, if you close and reopen your game, it comes back, so it's not a big deal, but it is just annoying if you like turn it off and then don't put it back on and then like you're trying to see somebody's name and you can't and, and all of that stuff, so. Nadia, I studied history in college. I have a history degree. Um, 
Okay, then probably it's not a dumb question. This thing is because I was sponsored by AT&T for three months as part of their class 2022. Um, it ends literally in like two days. <laughs> I can turn this off in like two days. Um, but basically it was like a three month period uh, where they have this class of 2022 thing. They did it a few times. And basically they pick like six up and coming streamers and then a mentor. Um, and they like give the streamers a bunch of front page time to help grow their channels give them a mentor. For some reason, they asked me <laughs> to be the mentor. So we did like six sponsored streams. We rated each of those streamers and stuff. Um, that we finished the sponsored streams already. This is just like a banner that I keep in my stream for the 90 day period, so. Um, it's pretty cool because a lot of, they've worked with a lot of Simmer friends of ours in the past, like uh, Shella was in it a couple last year or whenever it was. Um, it's pretty cool, so. Shella was in the first class. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Um, but they've been really supportive of a lot of our Sims friends on Twitch, which is kind of cool. So um, today's stream's not sponsored or anything. Um, we only did the six official sponsored streams, but um, in the same way that I have like their banner and my panels, we have to have that on the stream for 90 days. So you can like island music, why not? And maybe I'll play with the dog too, so it doesn't run away. <laughs> Alexandria, Ren, Grace, Sydney. Thank you for the subs, by the way. Um, do you want a hug? Maybe as well. Sure. Okay, hopefully you won't leave me now. We did get level 10 in the career, so we could, we could like retire if we wanted to, but I think I'd be a bit bored if I did that. So I'm not really sure what we would do. Maybe I'll track a satellite, observe the sky or something. Oh, can you not get to it because of the, oh, okay. Try it again. I moved, it did work when I first put it there, but then I moved the pond and moved it back. So maybe I glitched it when I put the pond in a slightly different place. Um, that might've been it. Uh, Alexandria, thank you for the 18 months. I said that already, didn't I? Sorry. <laughs> all right, all right. Try and uh, see if anything fun happens for us. You could always stargaze now too. What if we die? Wouldn't that be kind of funny if Honey the astronaut died from stargazing? <gasps> Ooh, okay, should we go bodybuilder or professional athlete? Hmm, the bodybuilder hours are a bit better. Seven to two, but athlete is more fun. I'm gonna be a pro athlete, I think. Okay, well, we still have the same hours, two to nine. That's fine, and I still have tomorrow off, so I can still go try and get my boyfriend tomorrow, which is all that I cared about. That is all that I needed. Okay. You can just keep this up, honestly, for now. Who's more paid? Well, the uh, the athlete made a few more simoleons an hour, it looked like, but the thing is, I'm not super worried about that, because we have more money than I know what to do with in this household, so um, I would be okay if The Sims, like, made a little bit less money. <laughs> Um, I know that's a weird thing to say, but that's how I feel about it, so. Okay, you're getting too tired, so you should just go to sleep. Will Grave get children today? On stream today? Maybe. It depends how far along we get. We'll probably get married today. Um, if we can manage to get there, but. All right, save game again. We'll see how far we get, though. We shall see. Oh, the dog's name is Corn. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Uh, promoted to seat lister. There you go. Everyone's doing well today. All right, you go to sleep too. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, Beast, I put all my streams on YouTube. I have a second channel called More Simsy, and I re-upload all my streams up there onto my More Simsy channel. Um, they're usually like a couple days lagging behind because uh, I have a lot of streams that I need to upload all the time. <laughs> um, and think like sometimes uh, I'll stream like twice in one day and then I'll have like, you know, an extra stream to post. So like it's usually a few days behind. So I'll post this on my More Simsy channel in a few days basically. Um, but you can always watch this back today on Twitch. Like you could watch back the beginning of today's stream already right now on Twitch if you wanted to. Um, so, okay, everyone sleep. Everyone sleep. You're awake at 4 a.m.? Wow, that's actually impressive, honestly. 
Yeah, Brienne, I usually do morning streams on Wednesdays. Today, I didn't stream in the morning because, well, two reasons. Number one, I'm pre-recording a lot right now. Uh, number two, I'm going to my grandparents' house on, on Friday. I'm flying up to Illinois on Friday. Um, and so I'm gonna stream in the morning on Friday before my flight. So I just like swapped the morning stream around to Friday um, because that made more sense because I'm going to my grandparents' house this weekend. So my grandpa's turning 90 this year. Um, it's his 90th birthday this weekend. So that's why we're going up there to see him. So yes, indeed, it is his birthday. Okay, you finish that. Do you want to come get some leftovers maybe? Thank you very much. I usually, I post all of the stream schedule in the Discord um, with like details. <laughs> um, so I like, I explained all that in the Discord too. So if you've got questions about the stream schedule, you can always check in the Discord because I, I post the like most updated thing in there. So with the dog was also great. So Leo, the, we usually do that. Um, this dog is like from the yellow generation. You know how each generation is a different color? Um, and this Sim Honey was the yellow generation. And then their kids are the gray generation. The dog was like originally Honey's dog. It's just old now. Um, and we still have the dog. So we'll get like a gray pet eventually. Um, but like we're, you know, it's still like the yellow gen. We're kind of like in between right now. So. Um. Okay, okay. There's like water all over the floor. This, we always have water everywhere on the floor in this house because we have so many ghosts who drowned in the pond. And uh, the ghosts of Sims that drowned drip water everywhere. Oh my God. The ghosts of Sims who drowned drip water everywhere. Um, so that's why we have puddles all over the place because the ghosts like die <laughs> and then haunt our house and like walk around dripping. Uh, so that's why that happens. <laughs> But there's just puddles everywhere all the time in this household because of that. Okay, you are using the bathroom. You could probably come make some food too. Um, would you like to serve breakfast pancakes? And then we can go try and hang out with that guy who we're gonna marry. <laughs> That's actually a thing, yeah, Hound. That is actually a thing. Um, all of the ghosts for the different deaths have like little special quirks to them. Not all of them drip, um, but like for example, uh, say if you like died from the poisonous pufferfish, you can see like the pufferfish floating around inside of the ghost. Um, they all have like little special things that give you a hint as to how they may have died. Some of them glow certain ways, um, stuff like that. The chicken death has like a chicken inside. The hamster death, if you if you die from like the rat. Uh, the rabid rodent fever in my first pet stuff, the ghost wears like a rat costume. And like, if you die from the meteor death, like the one that you can die from uh, with, with the little telescope, occasionally a meteor will come and strike your ghost. So that's kind of fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, and like Sims who die of electrocution, they spark. I think fire ghosts are like kind of smoky. Um, but yeah, that's why. That's what that's what goes on with that. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Okay. Are you what are you going to do? You want to like autonomously play football? Stop. All right. Would you come channel surf a little bit and then we'll go invite that guy out? All right. Fun is up. Let's go see if he wants to hang out with me. That is my dream. Um I think I might go hang out in like I don't know. Let me go to the pub. You wanna go to the pub? Let's go to the pub. Hey, Eric, you wanna go to the pub? Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> we need to get married, it's very urgent. So in this generation, you have to marry a neat sim. The idea being that the, this gen sim is a slob, they have the slob trait, and then they have to marry a neat sim. Kind of like part of the story, I guess. Um, and so we finally found a guy who is neat, um, and we're gonna start trying to date him now. We aren't officially dating yet, but we'll gossip, we'll tell some jokes, you know, we'll just hang out. He's really cool, he's got a daughter named Bonnie, I mean, he's a great guy, so. Do you wanna show off my muscles again? Tell an unbelievable story? Discuss interests? No, Cappy, we had the failed relationships. We dated Tanya, we dated Nadia, we dated Brendan. 
I even dated Tanya's son, Martin. Um, so we've had quite a few failed relationships. <laughs> you need to have three for the challenge. We've done them all, luckily. Um, okay, I'm gonna try and get, like, our friendship up kind of high, I think. Um, also because he's, like, tense, and I don't really want to try and flirt with him while he's in a bad mood. Is he an elder and an adult? No! Oh, no, he left me! Dang it! My sim's a young adult. He's just gray because his mom was an alien. Um, well, we've got happy memories, so that's cool, I guess. Even though he left. I'll invite him back. I'm not worried about it. Come on down. Where did you go? <sighs> Sims, why? Why must you do this to me? He might actually be at work. Try again. He says he'll be right over, but he's probably lying. <gasps> he's back! He isn't lying. Ask him on a date? I don't want to yet, Monica, because we don't have any romance bar. Um, I don't want to move too fast for fear of him, like, responding badly. So. Okay. Maybe tell a funny story. Oh, he did respond well to that. Maybe blow a kiss? Oh, he's flirty now. Ask if single. Uh, ask about romantic interests. Ask about woohoo interests. Hopefully it works out, because otherwise, bad, bad. Eric is single. Still exploring. Oh, we're not close enough to share our woohoo preferences. You're so valid though, buddy. I, I don't know why I asked. I actually checked in cast, so I know that He's into me, don't worry. Um, well, he's gone, so. <sighs> FC Goddess, thank you for the 42 months. Cammy and Kat and Ramen, thank you for the resubs too. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> it's fine, all the Sims act like this these days. Maybe I'll just get a drink. I came all the way here and I was rude, so he was justified in leaving that time, I think. I get it. I get it. Can I share my MCC settings? Do you know what, Maddie? I don't even know what my MC command center settings are. I didn't change them. Whatever they are, I didn't- I- like, I've changed a few things. Like, I changed, like, the- I have MC Woohoo, obviously, so I can change Risky Woohoo settings. And I've got, like, um, I turn off the monster under the bed. But I didn't change any MC command center settings that, like, populate the world. It just is the way that I downloaded it. I don't really- I- I mostly use all the default settings of that mod. Um, with the exception of, like, some random things. Like, sometimes I use the auto-pay bills, you know, stuff like that. But not, like, the- the main- majorly useful stuff. Um. Sophia, I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember where in MC Command Center is the Monster Under the Bed setting, but it's somewhere in there. If you dig around, you can find it and you can disable it, which I do, because I find it really annoying. Um, but I know they changed- they changed how the MC Command Center versions look now, and I, don't, I really don't know where to find it in that one. It's under Interaction Autonomy. Okay, that's helpful. That is helpful. Um, MC Command Center is really overwhelming. Uh, there's like a lot of, uh, options in it. <laughs> so. Alright, he invited me out to get coffee, but he's gonna leave again probably. Let's go find out though. Um. We'll go see. What do you think of newborn still being in the game after the infant update? Do you know what, Leo? Um, I know people are like annoyed about this. I don't really care. So the 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 um like the drama, the the problem people have about the newborn update. Oh, I didn't change his hot weather outfit. Um, the problem people have with the newborn update or the infant update or whatever it's going to be in a few months um, is that people want them to update the existing babies and what they're doing is adding like a new life state in between the existing babies and toddlers. So when babies are born, they're still going to be like in the bassinet and then they'll be infants and then they'll be toddlers. But for me, I don't Real, like, I don't see a problem with that. Like, to me, it actually kind of makes sense. Because of, like, how they've made the infants, um, like, the infants seem a little bit older than, than, like, existing babies, and, like, older than the, the Sims 3 babies. I've always thought that the Sims 4 toddlers seem a little bit older than Sims 3 toddlers. 
Um, in the same way that these infants seem like they're gonna be a little bit older than Sims 3 babies, so they can do more, because they're like a little bit older. <laughs> Obviously in terms of like months, right? But they're a little bit older, so they are capable of a few more things. And so it makes sense to me to have like the, the newborn or whatever phase first, where they just lay in the bassinet, because they're newborns, and then they become a baby that can crawl or whatever. Like, I think that makes sense. Um, I feel like that that checks out, especially like given what they're adding with the update and like how it's gonna be better. It makes sense to have like the beginning stage. Um, but that's that's my thought process on it. I don't think it's a bad thing, so. Um, but anyway. Anyway, new babies don't do a lot, exactly. <laughs> the problem people have with the babies that we have now is not necessarily that, like, it's even that unrealistic, I guess, if they're super newborns. It's just that that's all we have from babies right now, you know? Like, people want more from babies. So I'm not mad about the newborn state existing still because they're gonna add, like, a better version after that, you know? Um, which is better to me. So, I'm not mad. <laughs> you just want cribs? I know, I would love to see like actual cribs get added. That would be so fun. Um, your 10 week old is definitely closer to the bassinet baby than a crawling infant. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. I think it'll be fun to have like some more stages of them growing up. It'll be cool, so. I personally am looking forward to it. Um, do you want to exchange numbers and then be my boyfriend? Thank you. Yeah, before we used to... I live with you. Yeah. Leave me alone. Before, I don't know how many of you played The Sims when uh, The Sims 4 like wasn't fully uh, the way it is now. <laughs> like when The Sims 4 first came out. I was gonna say when it wasn't fully released, but it was released, it just wasn't good. Uh, but we didn't have toddlers when it first came out. So you went from like the bassinet babies straight into a child. Like they jumped out of that bassinet and were like 10 years old instantly. Um, it was really weird. <laughs> um, so it's cool to see them like adding even more. Um, also short musician, I'm not sure if they ever like, I'm not sure if they said newborns and infants. They definitely said infants. And everyone keeps talking about newborns. So I don't know if they said that or if that was like a just a consensus the community made to describe the bassinet babies, but the the infant thing is definitely correct. That that's like the feature name of the new baby update. But I don't know if the newborn thing is right or not. Um, that's just what I keep hearing people say. So um, I don't know. <laughs> it's a good descriptor. It gets the point across, but I don't know if it's like official or not. So okay, well we started dating officially. Maybe I'll get some coffee. Um, do you want to order something to drink? Maybe you can get something to go. I get asked about preteens a lot, and I always said the same thing about this preteen business. I always was like, basically I said, I don't really care about preteens. I would rather have them like update babies and make babies a better life state than add like another uh, nothing state in between children and teens. Mostly because I didn't really know like, what preteens would come with that like kids and teens couldn't already do. I think we all just are looking for like more stages of development when they're getting older, but I just kind of felt like I don't really know what would be decidedly different between teens and kids that we would need preteens. It's a fun idea. I just like didn't feel like it was worth it. And I would rather have them like go back and update babies. Like to me, babies were more important. Um, and I still feel that way. I still don't know like what I would prefer people ha they had done with teens. I think maybe if they made teens look younger, people would be happier. Cause right now teens are like the same height as adults and stuff like that. So I think that's part of the problem is the teens just look older and people want the teens to be more like, like 14 and not 18 or whatever, 16, you know, instead of 18. Um, but I think that them being a bit shorter would make more sense. I feel like the reason that teens are the same height as adults, honestly, would probably have to do with like animation uh, reuse and like asset reuse um, because this way like you can you excuse me <sighs> hello <laughs> Lucille just came and flirted with me who are you 
Um, but I feel like they they because um, all the the teens are the same size as adult Sims, and they'll all the same clothing assets work for them, and they don't need to redo any animations for a different height. Because um, they're the same height. Oh my god, there's two of you. This is what I'm talking about. When I say the like twin clone Sims, they have different names and different outfits, but these are the same Sim. That's Lucille. That's Sloane. Same Sim. I keep seeing this happen in my game. They're, neither of them are neat, so we can't date you. You want to find inner peace. I relate. She's pretty. But this keeps happening to me. This literally, you know how my sim dated that guy named Brendan and then he has a twin brother that's dating my sister? It was the same thing. How, like, they were identical sims. Um. But, anyway. <laughs> Happened to you too? Yeah, it's so weird. I don't understand it. Maybe I'll give her a different hairstyle so she looks a bit different from her sister. Um, she is pretty though. Yeah, I've got MC Command Center Taurus. It might be a mod glitch. I'm not saying it's like the Sims fault. It might be a mod glitch, but I keep having this happen to me for some reason. I actually liked the maxi dress a lot. I thought it was really pretty. Maybe I'll wear the purple one. Um, so, I'm not gonna dump Eric, don't worry. I can't, I need to marry a neat sim. <laughs> also, ads are about to play chat, so, um, just, just warning you, uh, that ads are gonna play. There'll be, like, a minute of ads in, like, 30 seconds or so. I just want to make sure that you know, um, so when it starts, you're ready, but you won't miss anything, I promise. I won't do anything exciting without you, I swear. Oh my god, I'm literally just gonna do loading screens, because I need to go back to the old lot. So that's great. <laughs> ah! No. No. I paused. This is such unfortunate timing. This is such unfortunate timing. I'm pretending it's not happening. La 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 la. I don't see anything. I don't wish for this to be happening to me right now. I want to quit. I want to quit. <laughs> I don't want to play this stupid game anymore. I'm not happy about this. Oh my god. <laughs> Sunshine, Aspen, Doctor, and Cece, and Kat, and Sue, and Emma, and Jess, and, and Hep, and Elba. Thank you for the subs and stuff, by the way. I really, really appreciate that. Oh my god. I need some water. And I want to quit. <laughs> This is the worst day of my life. It's the worst day of his life too, probably, actually. So me and Corin have that in common, I think. Um, why Corn kill honey instead? I know. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't mean that. I don't mean that. Chat said that, not me, not me. Okay, so what happened was literally seconds after the ads started playing, I can't stop them. It started, I can't do anything. I was about to go switch back to Grave, what I wanted to do in the first place. It said, you can't do this while a sim is dying. I didn't plan this. I didn't intend for this to happen. I also didn't unpause. <laughs> I was just trying to switch back. And then I waited for you to come back because the ads were playing. And now look at this situation that we're in. This is so unfortunate. <laughs> I don't want this to be happening right now. I didn't sign up for this. I didn't agree to this. I am distraught, and we're gonna have 80 graves now, so that's cool, I guess. Um, but when I said I wanted my 80th grave, I didn't mean this way. This is not what I was talking about. This is not what I was talking about. I'm devastated. Do you know what? Who was it in chat that was complaining about, ha about us having a yellow dog and saying we should get a gray dog for the gray gen? Look what you've done! <laughs> They weren't actually complaining, they were joking, but look what you've done! <sighs> Just take corn, please. I can't look at this anymore. Just get it over with. It hurts. Please. Oh, we're being raided. Look what you came into. My Sims dog is dying. <laughs> this is the worst day of my life. Okay. Corn, buddy. 
Oh, I need to put move objects on for this. Oh my god. Plead for the baby? No, you know what I've learned? It's really not- I can't- I can't. Pleading for, like, my Sims pets, I swear to you, it just causes me more pain. Cause then they live, like, three more days, and then they die. That's not better. That's not better! Then I have to watch it happen twice. Like, I don't want that. Yeah, we were gonna have a Greyhound. Uh, that was always the plan. I I'll probably get it tomorrow in-game, but we were gonna adopt a Greyhound. That was the idea. Um, for, you know, the Grey Gen. <laughs> um, but I I'm not ready yet. I need to mourn corn for a little bit longer. Um, uh, this is deeply upsetting. So. Thought you couldn't plead for pets? Honestly, Monica, I'm not sure. I don't ever do it, because when I plead for Elder Sims that have died, it always makes me more sad. It's one thing to plead for, like, a sim who's died in an accident. Like, oh my god, there was a fire and my sim died. But when they die of old age, they're just gonna die again. Like, all it, all it does is prolong our suffering, you know? <laughs> oh yeah, Jay, I usually stream in the morning on Wednesdays, but uh, we're gonna do a morning stream on Friday instead, because I'm gonna stream before my flight. I'm going to visit my grandparents this weekend. Um, so I'm gonna stream on Friday before my flight in the morning. So I just kind of swapped the, uh, the morning stream to Friday, so. Okay, well, I should probably go home, given that my Sims dog has just died. Um, great that we have a new boyfriend. Not so great that Corn is dead. Um, it's actually extremely upsetting, so. <sighs> Inside we go. <laughs> Prima, Alice, F, thank you for the subs, by the way, everybody. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Can Grave meet Bonnie? Well, we could go over there and try and find out where he lives and meet the toddler. Um, we're gonna move them in, so I'll, I'll deal with that once we're all living together. Bonnie is um, our new boyfriend Eric's daughter. Um, I don't think I should go there now at 9 p.m. So. Okay. Would you like to... Honestly, do you want to serve up some food? Do you want to serve up some chili or something, maybe? That sounds like fun. I like the idea. Grave dated four people already, Royal, um, before we finally met Eric. So, kind of fun, kind of fun. Let me check, honestly, I might check on the... Um... Don't show bills. Ooh, how much? Wait. Oh my god. Do you want to come pay the bills? 6,300. Yeesh. We're playing on normal lifespan, uh, Swift. We're playing on normal lifespan. Uh, neighborhood stories, perhaps? Dennis has a new job. Lindsay's dead. I don't know who that is, but may she rest in peace. Sawyer died as well. Yikes. Someone got a baby. Someone got a toddler. Someone got a child. Someone is not a barista anymore. I don't know. Baby. I just want to see who dies. That's my main thing. Yeah, Cory builds myself. Um, I do a lot of building on stream. Um, a lot. Oh, Edison died as well. Yikes. I do a lot of building on stream. We built this a few weeks ago. So, nope, like a week ago. Someone else died. Look how many of them are dying. It's actually unfortunate. Sierra Waffle died? Got on the bad side of a chicken? Oh no. Someone got a child. Nothing else happened? Okay. Speed up. Speed up. Save game. I don't know. Katie Riley Mary, thank you for the resubs too. Um, yeah, they do adopt a lot of kids, Kelly. It's interesting, because, like, I don't know what it is. In one of my households, so... On my YouTube channel, I've got this, like, legacy series, kind of like this one, and, um, on- Did this get struck by lightning, or does it just look- Oh no, it's fine, sorry. <laughs> but I've got a legacy series kind of like this, um, I've been playing for a while, and one of my Sims siblings has had so many kids. I think it's a combination of MC Command Center and, like, the story progression settings. But I'm dead serious, they have 10 kids. Because I have like, uh, with MC Command Center, I've got a mod that increases household size. So instead of the max being eight, the max is 24. So they can have that many kids. They have 10 children. 
It is wild. <laughs> it's so many kids. Why did you wake up? You're eating chili at 3 a.m. Go back to bed. Go back to bed. Um, yeah, they have a lot. Yeah, the max I set it to 24. I not not just for fun, but because I was doing uh, during a charity stream uh, once, like a few months ago, I was doing this uh, thing where every one thousand dollars I added like another toddler to the household, and we ended up having 24 kids all in our household at once. Um, so it was pretty good, but that's why I increased the household size, and I just didn't put it back down. It's not usually a problem. Um, I wouldn't normally play with, you know, 24 sims, aside from very special occasions <laughs> like that. But then my sim sister decided to go um, have a bunch of children, I guess. Okay, grab a serving. It's before it spoils. Oops. Oops. Do you want to also get a serving before it spoils? It, you have three hours, so... Um, well, Avery, I don't have to go into cast with them. <laughs> the problem when you do that, though, is that when you have more than eight sims, if you, um, if you go into cast, it deletes some of them. Um, because you can only have eight in cast, so you don't go into cast when you have that. Um, so. That is the, the lesson that I have learned. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, Kate, Katie, Rini, thank you for the subs and stuff. You want me to name our dog Bus? We're gonna get a Greyhound, you want me to name it Bus? A few of you in chat suggested that. I'm not sure if I'll do it or not, but I'll think about it. I'll think about it. We can't have Bus the Greyhound. I mean, we can have Bus the Greyhound. What if we name it... Name it Earl? We did talk about naming it Earl before. What if we named it Gus? Because Gus is, like, like similar vibes, but then we have, like, the two Gs, like, Gus the Greyhound, but it sounds like Bus. What do you think? No, you have to go for Bus? Okay, I don't even have the dog yet, so. <laughs> we don't even have a dog yet. Um, I guess I could go into Cass and get it now. I want it to be a Greyhound, so we'll, we'll um, do it in Cass so that we can ensure our Greyhound desires are met. Um, but, poll? Oh god, I don't want to give chat this kind of power. <laughs> Your vote is for Earl? We can get a poll, and the options can be Bus, Gus, and Earl. Oh, there's already a poll, and Earl's not on it. Okay, well, <laughs> the mods have spoken, I guess, and, and there is no Earl. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's get a dog. Let's get a dog. Okay, this one's kind of cute. We want a greyhound. Oh my god! What's the other one? The Italian greyhound. What do you look like? Oh, you're small, that's right. Do you want small or big? <laughs> what kind do you want? Big? I was thinking big too. Okay. Oh my god! Look at you! Gus is winning with 60% of the vote. So this is Gus the Greyhound. Who is apparently a couch potato. Maybe... Smart? And friendly? Oh my god, you're so cute. I am obsessed. Okay, let's get a little collar too for Gus the Greyhound. Why does it look so big on your little tiny head? It makes you look silly. <laughs> Gus, your collar makes your head look silly. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, I think Gus is ready. They, I know, in real, life, in real life they look like this too, but we can make fun of them in The Sims. Um, but I know, obviously in real life, Greyhounds look like that, but it doesn't make it any less silly. Make him a puppy? Oh no, I can't deal with that. I can't deal with Sims puppies. Can't deal. Can't deal. <laughs> Bambi Gamer! Uh, Rini, thank you for the subs and bits again. Thank you so much. Okay. We load in. I'll add a couple things. We already have, like, pet bowls and stuff, obviously. But I might need to add in, like, some toys and stuff. Um, okay. 
Gus, little buddy, look how cute you are! Oh my god. Do you want to come meet him? Come say hello to Gus. Wait, honestly, Simstagram Gus, because all the graves are right there. I can get some pictures of the graves behind him. Okay, Gus, what you've done is, is incorrect. But maybe I'll take this photo, just for now. Okay. Did Corin die? Yes, Ella, it's devastating. I'm trying not to think about it. <laughs> I am trying not to think about it. Um, my escape button is not working. Why? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's no good for us. Why doesn't it work? All right, where's my litter box? Where did I put? Oh, did I not have one? I didn't have a cat, did I? Did I have a cat? No, it was a dog, so I didn't have a litter box. You would save? I'm actually gonna save and go to main menu and come back and see if that fixes it. Cause that is really annoying. Like, really annoying. No, we had- I'm sorry, I didn't remember if Corn was a cat or a dog. I won't lie. I'm sorry to admit it, but that's- that's what just happened. But obviously Corn was a golden retriever. I knew that. I knew that, okay? Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, Grace, the house is very, very gray because we're doing the gray gen of Not So Berry. So the whole house is gray, the sim is gray, we got a gray hound dog. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's really annoying because I used the escape key to get the lag to stop. Yeah, you have to like press escape and it like helps with lag, but that's- it wasn't letting me do it. So... Things are not going well for us right now. Not going well at all. Um... Okay. Oh. Still can't use it. <sighs> well... <laughs> Well, that's fine. I'm fine. Everything is fine. I'm good and not upset. I'm fine. I'm gonna come play with the dog. I'm gonna have to restart the game completely, but I don't really care to do that right now, so we'll just deal with it. I was trying to avoid having to completely reload the whole game, but sometimes you have no choice. Look at how cute my dog is! Okay, let's see. Pet care, do you wanna go potty? I'm gonna start trying to potty train you, little buddy. Good job! Okay, maybe I will try to like, relax and unwind on the couch. Yeah, Rhea, we found a neat sim. Um, my sim is already dating a neat sim. And he's asking me on a date to the lounge at 9 a.m. So let's go find out. How does it fix lag? We don't know, Golden Wing, it just helps. Literally, when you're having s extreme lag in the game, press escape, it opens the menu, and it does fix it. I'm- I'm dead serious. And then it comes back. But you- when you open the menu like that, it does fix it. Like this. Like when it opens this when you press escape, it- it genuinely helps. Okay, I was gonna see about maybe giving this guy some new outfits, but I might wait until... after I'm done with the date, before I go do that. Um... So that I don't have to like reload the lot, so. Okay. Congrats on landing a new boyfriend. Ooh, says my ex. Yikes. Yikes! <laughs> oh dear, okay. <laughs> Why is he dazed? Probably because this neighborhood, I would assume this neighborhood has the like juice community thing going on. I didn't vote for it, but that's what I would assume would have happened. Should I go fix all of his outfits? I thought I did. Maybe I only fixed his everyday outfit. Because I wasn't sure if I wanted to date him or not. So I just went in there and did one while I was deciding. Oh my gosh, Bonnie aged up! Oh, cute! Oh, okay, this is fun. I'm excited for when she moves in with us. Um, and then... It seems like... Oh yeah, oh yeah. I definitely only did his everyday outfit. So, that's okay. 
That's okay. She is cute though. That's fun. Um, should we get like a suit on? Maybe he can wear a purple suit because his kids are going to be part of the purple gen of Not So Berry. I don't know. That seems like fun to me. This also seems fine. I don't know. I don't really care that much to be honest. Um, anyway, he is a soulmate aspiration. He has squeamish, family oriented, and neat traits. So, he's perfect. He's perfect. Oh, look, this has like the purple and the gray. That's his kid, Moon Pearl, yeah. I don't know what happened to his partner, like who the kid's other parent is, but I'm gonna assume they're dead. <laughs> I'm just gonna assume they're dead. That seems the most likely to me, so. Doesn't he hate video games? Oh, I'm pretty sure he might, yeah. Oh yeah, red flag. Red flag. Um, ba -ba -ba. I don't know what to give you for your party wear. A little sweater could be kind of cute. I don't know if I like this one though. This one's kind of cute too, but I'm not sure if he would wear it. Maybe he would. I kind of, I don't, mm, maybe I don't like it. No, he's single. I Trust me, D, I did ask. <laughs> I did ask if he was single. I didn't just start dating some random sim without asking if they were single first. Um, okay. Oh, do you know what? This coat is kind of nice and it's got the green that he wears. Um, let's try that and we can wear the new jeans because they're so cute. I think he'd wear this. I can see it. Who is that Sim? This is my uh, Sim's boyfriend. My gray gen Sim's boyfriend. Um, they're going to get married soon. Um, are they on the gallery? I'll put them on the gallery once I uh, once they're in my household. I'm probably gonna upload like the household to the gallery once they move in, so I don't wanna upload them twice in the same day or whatever. So I'll, I'll upload them to the gallery once, once we move in with them. Um, why doesn't he have to be totally gray? Because he's not the gray gen sim, Tara. This is just the gray gen sim's boyfriend. It, it really doesn't matter. It's not like it's a rule. You just kind of do what you feel like. <laughs> so I was just giving him some outfits. Um, he's he's not the gray gen sim. He's just going to marry the gray gen sim. So. Um, that's all. I like maybe we could wear like blue or something. That kind of works. Maybe dye his hair purple. I'm not going to dye his hair purple. The next generation is going to be the purple gen. So their kids are going to have all purple hair. Um, I don't really like any of the shorts options. I won't lie. Oh, maybe these are okay. You know what? You can keep your flip flops if you want. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. And then for our coat. I do love this one. I always think it's so cute. Um, maybe you can just have your jeans back again. That seems fine to me. Okay, I think he's ready. Now we can date him. Well, we are dating him, but now we can marry him. <laughs> now we can marry him. Um, the Sims 4 base game has a kind of purple hair color, Kitty. Although, I might make myself some custom content purple that's like a deeper purple, like a plum color or something. Because the, the next gen is technically called the plum generation. I might let myself make some CC that is like a deeper purple than like the lavender that we have in the Sims 4 base game. I feel like that might be cool. Let me switch control back to you. Oh my goodness. All oh, this back and forth. My goodness. Zosta, Perry, Ali, and Katie, and Kiana, thank you for the resubs, everybody. I really, really appreciate that. Um, okay. Okay. You use the dyed hair from backyard stuff because purple starts a bit darker. That makes sense. I like that idea. Um, I like that idea. Okay. Wait, why are you swimming? Stop. <laughs> Don't go swimming. <laughs> You're on a date. 
You're on a date. Oh, Staley, we did the shell tours yesterday, friend. We did them yesterday. Um, no, he left! Oh my god, this is cursed. Maybe I'll just come get some food. You want some food? But yeah, we did the shell tours yesterday. Um, and we're gonna- I posted the video on YouTube on Friday, I think. I filmed it today, so. Um, that is the plan. Invite him back over? It's okay, I might, uh, see if he wants to come to my house after I finish eating this, so. I like that plan, I think that'll be good. Will I ever use CC for Cass? So, Drizzle, um, I have used CC a lot in the past. I don't really use a lot of custom content anymore. Um, for a couple reasons. It sort of started when I made my save file, um, because I was obviously not using any custom content in that, because that defeats the purpose of it. Um, because not everybody would have the same CC as me. So I made, like, so many CC-free households, and I really had fun doing it, and I was like, you know what? I don't really use that much CC these days anyway. The game has so much stuff in it now, so I kind of just stopped using cast CC. Um, and then it sort of changed into, like, a... I don't know, I just don't really use CC anymore. <laughs> um, and so that, like, that's fine, you know? Um, so I just don't really use a lot of custom content in cast. I don't use a lot of build custom content either, but that one is more because I make a lot of builds with the intention for you all to download them. Um, and, and obviously if I'm using all kinds of custom content, it's not as easily downloadable, so. Um, that's kind of the reason. All right, well, can I bring that home with me? Yeah, I will. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, okay. Where should we go back home? And I'll see if I can bring the boyfriend too. Sounds good to me. Come along, Eric. Really? Well, that's, that's fun though. Custom content is fun. It really is fun. Um, I'm glad that you're enjoying it, so. <laughs> Smart business decision? What? Custom content? It's not a business decision. <laughs> I'm not trying to like not use CC so I can get more downloads. I'm just not using CC because I know that a lot of you want to download the builds and CC complicates it. That, it's not, it's not like a, <laughs> I'm not gonna use CC so it's, I get more gallery downloads. Like that's not my intention. It, it's more so for you all <laughs> than me. <laughs> just because a lot of people want to download them, so. Um, okay, well, I've returned home. Do you want to meet my family? My sister can come introduce herself to you. Friendly introduction. Come along. I'd like to get to know you. Isaac Waffles calling. Sure, get to know that person better. That's fine. Ask for advice. Lie about career. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Discuss fitness techniques. Flatter. <laughs> Aaron, Toy Story! Uh, Perry, thank you for the subs and stuff. Oh, Grave went to work. Oh, that's okay. Because at least my sister can try and befriend the boyfriend, you know? <sighs> no, I used to use a lot of CC lashes. CC lashes used to be, like, my main cast CC. I was obsessed. I would not make Sims without them. Um, and then, like I said, I started doing a lot of um, the Simsy save casts where I was making CC free households and I just stopped using them. But I used to always have CC lashes in my game. Um, and then I just kind of slowly stopped using them because I was making a lot of uh, vanilla sims without any custom content, so. Um, okay. Present suggestions. Go for it. Um, okay. Enthused about guitar solos. I don't know. Go for it. Why not? Um... Why did I stop with the Simsy save? Euphoric, I don't think that I really necessarily stopped on purpose. It's just that I was making the save file because the Sims kept releasing worlds that sucked. And then the Sims started working with Simmers to make the worlds. And then they didn't suck anymore. <laughs> so I didn't really feel the need to uh, go back in and like change all the lots as much. Because the lots that were coming with the, the packs were better. You know? Um... And the first time they ever worked with Game Changers to build the lots for a world, I was one of them, you know? So like, I, what am I gonna do? Go in and renovate my own builds <laughs> and, and release a Simsy save version? I don't know. 
Um, but that's kind of the thing, so. I just felt like it wasn't as necessary anymore, so. I was, I was doing it for me. Like, I was making the Sims save because I was using it, and then I didn't feel as much of a need to do it, so. Um, anyway. Anyway. I just don't use a lot of custom content. There's not like any, and that's, sorry, I was reading a different chat message and it brought me back to the other thing. Um, I, I just, it's not that I'm like against custom content or like I quit the Simsy save. I just kind of have moved away from both of those things, you know? Like I just haven't been doing it as much, so. Um, I don't know, I don't know. <sighs> Always so many questions about, why did you quit this? And in my head I'm like, I don't think I did. I'm gonna come back to it, I'm just busy, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Um, same thing with like the new crest save I was working on. I didn't quit it. I just like have one lot left to finish and I haven't finished it yet. You know, like it's, that's all. <laughs> There's not like tea behind it. I just not done yet. <laughs> um, people's priorities change, you know, that's kind of how it goes. So. Um, okay. Shall I keep trying to befriend my brother's boyfriend? I think so. Oh, I think so. They're actually getting pretty close, which is what I wanted. Oh, and now Honey can come meet him too. Okay, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> what happened to Honey? Nothing happened to Honey, annoying, but uh, Honey's dog died. That's why all the Sims are sad. Um, Cause our dog died of old age, so. Um, okay. Okay, where did he go? Did he go, go, like away? He did. That's fine. He might have gone to work, so. Have I ever played in the lot in Snowy Escape that I built? Yeah, kitty cat! <laughs> of course I have! I need to really, um, I need you guys to understand that those Snowy Escape builds, you have no idea how much time I spent working on those. Like, for multiple months straight, I worked on those builds, like, literally every night for like hours at a time, most of the time. Like I was, I spent so much time <laughs> on those builds because um, I built like multiple versions of them. And then like when we first started, the game didn't have any of the assets in it. Like when we first started playing, we didn't have any of the like Snowy Escape furniture cause they hadn't made it yet. Um, and so I built like a base game version and then I like added to it. And then it like looked weird cause I hadn't built it with the real stuff yet. So I got rid of it and then did it again. Like it. Um, it take it took so long to do those lots. So I've I've played in them. <laughs> I've play tested them. I've played in them. I've spent those those are like the longest builds I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> um, so I've played in them. <laughs> and then of course like when the game like actually came out, I played in them and stuff too. So, um, but anyway, I played in a lot. I played it and I played in it a lot. So. Um, oh, and there's ads playing. I didn't realize they were about to start. Oh, that's annoying. I covered the like ad manager thingy with my OBS, so I didn't see it. But how to get them approved? Yeah, because they they told me what I should build basically. Like with those builds, it wasn't just like Kayla build whatever you want. Um, when we made those like official snowy escape builds, I talked about this a lot in the videos that I made on it. By the way, so if you ever want to go back and like watch the videos that I did about the snowy escape lots, I talked a lot about the process and like how I did it, and I showed a lot of like early, early, early footage. It's kind of cool to see like early content from the pack and stuff. Um, but basically, when we did those lots, um, they told me like they they kind of showed us like a overview of like here's the nine lots that we're going to build. Um, you can rank them, like see which ones you would rather do the most, and then we'll assign them to each of you. And they had already decided like what the Sims were gonna be like. So I got given two households and a starter home. Um, so I had like the big lot um, and they were like the rich family. I had like the storyline for each of the Sims. Um, I had like some of the traits for each of the Sims, what they were gonna be like. And then um, they told me like kind of an idea for maybe what the style should be, but I could also put my own input into it. And then I would give them like every week, like a, a version of the build for them to look at and be like, oh, I'm not sure about this thing. Or like, oh, this isn't very performant. Or like, this is bugged. Can you fix this? Cause the game wasn't done yet. So there would be a lot of like glitches appearing that they would be trying to work out. Um, and obviously you don't want to put in too many items cause then it might not run on people's computers and stuff like that. So there was a very long process behind it. Um, and they were really heavily involved in like 
giving feedback. And also, again, they had already decided, like, who the Sims were going to be and what it should be like when they lived there. So, um, that was kind of fun. But, anyway, I made a bunch of videos on that when, when Snowy Escape came out and stuff. So, you can go back on my channel and, like, look up the Snowy Escape stuff and see. Um, if you're, if you're curious about the process, it's kind of cool. So, um... Um, 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 I guess you can all probably just go to bed. It's like 10 o'clock. You need to shower because you're stinky. And then maybe you can work out a bit because I forgot to build your skills. <laughs> oh, I forgot to build your skills. So maybe go do that too. Oops. Oops. Um, okay. And now you can go to bed. 11 o'clock at night, sleep. Your sister can, oh God, go take a shower. Maybe use the toilet and then she can go to sleep. Oh, Brick Spirit is fading away. Oh no. Darn, who died? Our, our Sims dog died, Lucy. It was really, really unfortunate and very upsetting. Our dog named Corn died. Um, okay. Alt oh my god, I keep thinking I'm seeing my cat, but it's not my cat. It's literally her toy. Oh, it's freaking me out. I keep seeing out of the corner of my eye and thinking she's come in, looking over like, oh snap. No, she's not there. <sighs> I'm imagining it. <laughs> it's so weird. It's so weird. Oh. Anyway. What if Storm dated the boyfriend behind Graves' back? I don't want to- I don't want to get a divorce or like have any cheating scandal. I don't want my Sims sister to- to cheat with my Sims boyfriend. I- I'd like to just have the Sims be happy this time around. <laughs> I don't think I want to do anything like that this time. Um, I don't really want- I mean, it would be devastating if your sister and your boyfriend cheated together, right? So let's not do that. <laughs> let's not do that. We've done enough drama already, you know? Um, <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> what I don't get about Twitch is when you're underage, they only ban you from chat, but you can still watch the stream. Anyone want to explain it to me? Well, Grace, uh, it's in the same sense that you can still watch the stream if you're if you're banned uh, for any reason, because you can watch the stream logged out. You don't even need to have a Twitch account to watch Twitch streams. The reason that we ban people who are under the age of 13, it's not just an us rule, this is a, a cross Twitch rule. You cannot have a Twitch account if you are under 13. You can't have any social media if you're under 13. Like all of their TOS, you have to be 13. Twitter, Instagram, all that, you gotta be 13. Um, that's just a rule. Like that's generally across the board, the rule. Um, it becomes especially a problem. And if you're young, you might not understand this, but it becomes especially a problem when kids are like, hi, I'm 12, and like go around typing that in, in Twitch chat because there unfortunately are creepy adults that we don't know are here that are lurking around. And I don't want them to like try and message you or be weird because they know you're underage. Um, so we have a couple rules. Number one, no age chat, never say how old you are. Even if you're not a minor, I don't want to know. Lead by example. Um, and then number two, if you tell us you're under 13, we will ban you because we don't want you typing like that in chat. So you can definitely still watch the stream. You just can't type. The issue lies in the typing. The The content is fine. I, I make family friendly content that I believe is appropriate for teens. You know, like that's totally fine. It's just when the little ones type in chat and especially when they're saying their age that it's a problem. Um, so if you are watching like with your parent, um, if you're watching with your parent or guardian or whatever, your older sibling on their account and they're in the room with you, you're good. But please, please, I'm begging you to not say how old you are in chat. Um, no one needs to know, okay? That's that's personal information for you, especially if you are a minor. Um, you can just engage with the chat without saying how old you are. So I hope that makes sense. And then we um, adults like to lead by example. We're not talking about age chat either. <laughs> um, so I hope that makes sense. But yeah, you don't need to be typing about your age. You don't need to be putting your age anywhere online if you're a minor. Twitch chat, I mean, of the places online, arguably this is one of the safer ones, but I don't want you to like do this anywhere. So um, don't do not do that anywhere. Um, keep that to yourself, okay? That's, that's private for you. Um, especially if you are a minor, okay? Um, <laughs> Real and adorable and Star and Straw and Tay and Jody. thank you for the resubs, by the way. Um, okay. Okay. 
Let me go put this away, sell these little thingies. There's not a lot of kids in the stream. Um, I know that like the majority, especially if my Twitch audience is older, I think some younger ones watch my YouTube videos, but I think that like the young ones aren't really on Twitch at all. Um, but it definitely pops up from time to time. And it sucks because most of the time when we have to ban people for being under 13 is because they'll be like, hey, it's my 12th birthday. <sighs> I'm really sorry, but you can't. We can get in trouble for letting kids under 13 be in chat and like you can't do that so we have like we just have to i don't want to it sucks <laughs> happy birthday but like it's that's just the it's the rules it's twitch's rules it, that you know um so shh never type your age in twitch chat um but it really stinks it really really stinks it's not fun <laughs> it's really 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 not fun um, but, and also the thing is, I'm serious about this though, about being very careful about it. Those of you that are older, you know how there's like memes to be like, haha, I'm 12 and you're like actually 25. Funny meme. Be careful though, because you have to be 13 to have a Twitch account. And if Twitch gets word that you said you were 12, even as a joke or as a typo, God forbid somebody said it was their 21st birthday. They typoed it, said 12. They are like, I'm 21. No, they put I'm 12. Their account got deleted. Like their account got banned. Their Twitch account, gone. <laughs> so um, be very careful. <laughs> be very careful. But if you get reported, then like, um, but anyway, it's not, it's not worth it. <laughs> Um, why so strict? Well, Twitch can get in trouble with the law for letting kids under 13 have accounts. This is like just, just the way that it goes, you know? Um, it's not necessarily Twitch or us. It's really not just us. It's like everywhere on the internet. Um, it's the same way that like, even on Twitter, um, say that you made your Twitter account when you were 13, six years ago, um, or when you were 12, six years ago, but you were almost 13 and you like lied about your birthday by a month. Um, and you said you were born in September instead of, you know, October or, or whatever, um, just so that you can have an account early, you were still 12. Say now, six years later, you're 18. You go to update your Twitter information to have the right birthday. They will ban you. Maybe not permaban, but you might get like a week ban on Twitter for trying to fix your birthday to not be a lie because they know that you were under 13 when you made the account. Um, that happens to a lot of people. You'll see them in chat saying it. <laughs> um, so it's, um, yeah. But the Twitter doesn't want to get in trouble with the law for like collecting data from kids and things like that. So it's not just, it's not like Twitter being mean or anything like that. It's, it's purely a safety thing and also it's illegal. So, um, but yeah, a lot of, uh, you'll hear a lot of people, they're literally all typing in chat about how they got banned on Twitter for, uh, having to fix their age from being a lie. So, um, but <laughs> uh, luckily I was 13 when I made my Twitter. I was like freshly 13. I made it in like September um, and I turned 13 in August. So <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I am safe. Um, but yeah, a lot of people put the wrong birthday in and then tried to fix it and then got banned. So um, anyway, be careful kiddos, <laughs> be careful. Uh, don't, don't say how old you are on the internet. That's the moral of the story, so. Oh yeah, I lied on Facebook. I, I don't think I was 13 when I got a Facebook. I don't have Facebook anymore though. <laughs> we deleted her. <laughs> um, just deleted your Twitter. Do you know what, MC Goddess? I've been thinking about wanting to delete my Twitter for literally years. Oh, I think the ghost made me some food. But anyway, with all this new business, maybe now's my time. I feel like it would be not smart of me business wise to, to like not be on Twitter, but oh my God, would I love to not be on Twitter. <laughs> but like so much of gaming, like the gaming community is on Twitter. Like there's a lot, it's, so I feel like it would be stupid to delete my Twitter, like from a personal standpoint, but oh my God, do I not want to be on there? I don't want to be on there. <laughs> I just don't want to be there at all. Um, a lot of people aren't on Twitter, a lot of like YouTube creators and stuff, but um, I know you said like Julian's not on Twitter, but like, th for example, like he is a lot bigger than I am. Like he's got a lot, you know, doesn't need to worry about it as much, but maybe Twitter will die with uh, all these dumb Elon Musk changes. Maybe it just will kill Twitter and then we'll have an excuse to all leave, you know? Um. <laughs> 
but this is the thing, right? Like, aside from just, like, like the gaming community being on Twitter, um, and, like, I don't know, me feeling like I should be on Twitter, like, for the sake of my channel and stuff, even, like, The Sims, so much of Sims news is on Twitter. Like, with, like, The Sims posting announcements on Twitter, they have that Twitter account now for, like, the updates, like, that Sims Direct account. The Sim Gurus answer questions and, like, give uh, cool tidbits of info about upcoming content. Like, so much Sims news happens on Twitter, you know? And I feel like if it wasn't there, I would, I would miss it. And I don't really want to miss it, <laughs> but I don't really want to be on Twitter either. So, I don't know. Um, that part, that part just kind of sucks. But like, there's so, like, I feel like as a simmer, there's a lot of benefit to being on Twitter. So, but, anyway, anyway. <laughs> um, okay, I think... You finish mopping up, yes? Mop again. Finish it all up. What's wrong with Twitter? Well, Elon Musk bought it and is trying to ruin it, ruin it actively. Um, but <laughs> um, also Twitter as a whole, I think that the Twitter community, the kind of people on Twitter are kind of toxic. The vibes are kind of bad. Um, and I don't really like it about it. Twitter is kind of scary. <laughs> and I don't mean like the sim, I mean Twitter. Like, as a whole, Twitter is kind of scary. And there's definitely pockets that aren't bad, but like, as a whole, Twitter is kind of... unpleasant. So... I think that about a lot of social media, though. Um... But... I don't know. I don't know. There's bubbles of safety, but... Why did I delete Facebook? Well, I just didn't use it at Molly. I just didn't use it. So there was no point in being on it. Also, Facebook has her issues too. And, and, people started being weird and DMing me on Facebook. I had, my Facebook was like locked down, all private. I don't have it anymore. I don't have a Facebook account. So don't look for me anywhere on Facebook because I don't have one. But, um, my Facebook was like super locked down. I was still getting messages from like randoms. And it would be like, not randoms, like, like people my age or anything, like my, like the average viewer. Obviously there's like outliers to my average viewer, but like most of the people that watch my content are like around my age. Um, but I would get like random, like adults, like, like adult women, like moms sending me nasty Facebook messages for not replying to their Facebook messages. It happened more than once, but like, I don't go on Facebook. I don't check my, mess my message requests. Why are you sending me hate mail on Facebook? Lady, <laughs> you're like my mom's age. What is wrong with you? <laughs> and this is when I was like 17 as well. Like I wasn't like, I'm, I'm 23 now, but I was like 17 then. So it was weird. It was weird. What are you doing lady? <laughs> so I, I'm out, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with Facebook now. Um, but like, what are you doing being mean to me on Facebook for not replying to you? I'm 17. <laughs> What the heck? Um, anyway. Facebook's weird. Obviously a lot of people that are older watch my content. Nothing wrong with that, but there is something wrong with sending me mean DMs on Facebook. That is true. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't use Facebook at all, so. Um, no one that I really knew was on Facebook either. Like, my friend group wasn't really- well, friend group's a strong word. My two friends in high school weren't really on Facebook, so we weren't- we didn't really use it. Um, it's kind of like- like, a bunch of Dan's friends and family, like, use Facebook Messenger to- to talk to each other. No one I knew really used Facebook Messenger, so I just wasn't, like, I didn't feel the need to be on it, you know? Um, how do we get on this topic? We're just talking about social media wisdom <laughs> and how Facebook is weird. Um, but yeah, Facebook is something else. Um, okay. Okay. Isaac, go for it. Why not? Do you use it? Yeah, that's the thing, Boots, exactly. Um, exactly. What are you using the US most commonly? You know what, Jewel, I think I'm probably the wrong person to ask because I very, very much almost exclusively use Discord to talk to people. And I like, I use iMessage like on my phone to text my family. 
Um, but most of my friend contact is on Discord. Like even Dan and I, when we were long distance, we use Discord almost exclusively to talk. Um, when a lot of people might use like Facebook Messenger, you know, like <laughs> other other messaging apps like WhatsApp and stuff. But I didn't use. Um, I never really used any of those. I'm just on Discord. <laughs> so I'm probably the wrong person to ask about like what people in the US use because I use Discord. <laughs> Discord's like my major main social media at this point. Um, you know, but anyway. No, you know what? Telegram is not popular, I don't think, here. Telegram, the only association I have with Telegram is the stupid scam bots in my in my YouTube comments and like all over YouTube, not just my comments, but like everywhere, trying to get people to message them on Telegram to win like a fake prize. That is my only association with Telegram is like scammers because they've been spamming my YouTube comments, trying to scam people and saying to DM them on Telegram. So that's, that's all I think of when I think of Telegram. I don't, I've never used it for anything. So just the scammers using Telegram. <laughs> Um, use Discord for like other hobby groups. Yeah, Discord's fun for that kind of thing. Um, it's kind of nice, but anyway, anyway, don't use Telegram. I know that my sister, a lot of my sister and her friends, like they use Snapchat to talk a lot, which is not for me. And I guess I did notice that a lot when I was in college too. Maybe I just never got into this like other people my age did, but like when I was in college, I'd be like in class and people would be like, oh, do you want to like exchange? I would think numbers to like talk about the homework or whatever. No, they'd be like, hey, can I get your snap? Like to talk about homework. Like, hey, can I get your snap in case I miss class and need the notes? Well, I'm not going to send you the notes on Snapchat. That's weird. Why? Why? They'd be like, they'd pull up the, um, the like Snapchat QR code and be like, can I get your snap? <laughs> I don't want you on my Snapchat. That's weird. Um. But yeah, I was, I never like really wanted to talk to anyone on Snapchat or use Snapchat like that. But, um, my sister's friends do. So, um, but yeah, no, I don't want you on Snapchat. <laughs> Random person from my psych class. Like, <laughs> why would I do that? <laughs> I don't really want that at all. Um, but anyway. <laughs> And that's the thing, Snapchat has like location things. Obviously you can turn that off, but some people just leave that on. Weird. Very weird. You kind of like Snapchat? Yeah, some people like it. I don't, I like Snapchat for like, I don't know, like sending s pictures to my sister, like, like to, for like random, you know, talking to my sister like that. Like, oh, here's the cat. Okay, I'll, you know, send you a Snapchat again in a few hours or whatever. But I don't really feel the need to like type, like text people on Snapchat. I actually don't like how the messages go away. Like I just don't, I don't know. It's more like just random pics during the day and not like a thing that I would actually have a conversation on, you know? Um, but I don't know. I don't talk to a lot of people. <laughs> I don't, I, I keep using my sister as the example because I don't text very many people. <laughs> so everyone else that I talk to, I talk to on Discord because they're my internet friends. <laughs> so um, I, I'm, I'm the wrong person to ask these questions, I guess, because I don't really, um, I don't really use these things all that much. <laughs> Well, Jacket, you can save messages. Yeah, I know, obviously. I just find it inconvenient. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of Snapchat, so. Um, okay, I'm gonna see about, honestly, I might try and get engaged to Kendall. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Go text the person you haven't talked to in a while. That's scary, Bex. I know I probably should, but like, what if they don't wanna hear from me? <laughs> That's scary. I don't want to. I'm too scared to reach out to people. <laughs> I'm not ready. Okay, let's, oh, woohoo in a bush. Do you dare me? Yeah, maybe I will. Anyway, I could probably benefit from reaching out to people that I haven't spoken to in a while, but it's too scary. <laughs> it's too scary. <laughs> Okay, well, you've been trying to make more friends and it's scary. Yeah, I, I think about this a lot because I don't really have any local friends. Like, I live in Orlando, 
I don't really have any, like, my friends from high school, I, I had, like, two, and they don't live around here, so, like, you know, like, my, I had, like, two friends in college, they don't live around here anymore, um, <laughs> and, like, I have all these internet friends, sure, but they're in, like, England, you know? I don't have a lot of local friends. I need to make some local friends. That would be really good for me if I made some friends here. Because <laughs> I do have friends. I like talk to my friends online all the time, but I don't know. Should try Bumble, Bumble BFF. Do you know, Amanda, my friend um, has been doing, my internet friend has been doing some Bumble BFF meetup stuff. Um, but, well, Mib doesn't live in Florida, uh, Emma. Mib, uh, like, goes to college far away. I don't know if it's public where, but, um, Miv goes to college far away, and her family lives in, in Jacksonville, which is a couple hours away from here, so. Not really the same. <laughs> Not really the same. Um, but, anyway. Anyway. Well, Brew, I know that Miv's school isn't public, but I don't know if even the state is, so I'm gonna keep my mouth shut, that's what I mean. Um. <laughs> What's Bumble? Bumble's like a dating app, but they have Bumble BFF, which you can like switch it to be like looking for friends instead of looking for like someone to date, which is different, you know? <laughs> um, and some people use that to try and meet people nearby, but I haven't done that ever, so I don't know if it's good or not. Um, but anyway, made some cool friends on there. Really? That's interesting. That is interesting. Um, but yeah, I don't have any- I, it does seem scary to me though, is the problem. And I don't really have any local friends, like I said, so... I don't know, maybe someday. Maybe someday. Thank God Dan moved here. Seriously, when I say I didn't hang out with anybody until Dan moved here, I'm serious. Like, because <laughs> we were long distance for a while, so I had like this- this long distance boyfriend, these long distance friends. Um, I just- it's like me and my mom hanging out. You know? That's it. <laughs> and now Dan's here, so that's helpful. <laughs> oh, my sim's gray because they're the gray gen of Not So Berry. Um, let me go see about changing his outfits a little bit. Dan replaced mom? No, I still hang out with mom. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> um, don't worry. Don't trust people on Bumble. Well, that's the thing, Jacket. It's the idea of like trying to make friends, like local friends on an app is kind of scary. And obviously if you want that to be successful, you have to like actively try and meet up with them, which is also kind of scary. Like it's, um, it takes a lot of putting yourself out there, which is kind of scary. So, <laughs> um, that's cool though, Christine. I've always been kind of jealous of people that have like, a core group of, of like, longtime friends. Um, cause I never really had that when I was younger. Like, I didn't really have a, like, a, a friend group growing up. Um, I had like, you know, like, I'd have like, a friend in school, and then like, usually that friend had a friend group, and I'd be kind of like, on the outskirts of it. But a lot of times, like, when I was in high school especially, like, I had two friends, and they had more friends, but like the bigger friend group would make plans a lot and they would be like hanging out all together. But I didn't really, I wasn't really close with them. So I like wasn't invited to it. So like I was always kind of on the outskirts of stuff like that. I didn't really have like a, a friend group when I was younger. I was super shy though. I wasn't good at like uh, making friends and befriending people. So, um, and I was really weird when I was in elementary and middle school. <laughs> I was probably weird in high school too, but it's too recent to admit that, so. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I was, um, I was pretty weird when I was really young, so that didn't help either. <laughs> um, it's alright. I turned out okay. Um, okay. Well, maybe one of these could be cute. I like that, I think. Um, but... And then, and then, like, when I was in college, um, I was obviously, like, uploading every day on YouTube and streaming every night, which I loved. Like, don't get me wrong, I really enjoy streaming, and I'm so glad that I do it and was doing it then. But, like, it's hard to make friends in college and be close with people when, like, everyone's going to hang out 
and like my roommates like were all like, oh, do you want to come? We're doing this. And then I'd be like, well, I'm going to stream The Sims. <laughs> um, and so then it's hard to get like close with people because I kept streaming instead of like going out and hanging out with people, which is okay because I didn't really want to go out. Like I didn't want to go out out and like go to parties or anything like that. But, um, you know, I wasn't very good at making like really close friends in college because of that, you know? Um, okay. I think... You want to get a nice little suit on, buddy? I kind of like that. I don't know. Um, not in contact with your college friends. Yeah, that's interesting. Because I feel like a lot of my parents, like, closer, long-lasting friends were friends from college. Um, and I didn't do that. <laughs> It's hard to meet people in college, though. If I didn't have, like, a roommate um, that I got along well with, I don't think that I would have had any friends in college. Because I don't know how I would have met them. Like, the only way that I met people in college is because I, like, was friends with my roommate, and then, like, she would be like, oh, do you want to go to this club thing? Or, like, do you want to go to this? And then I would come with her. <laughs> and that's how I met people, because of her. So if I didn't have, like, if I didn't have a roommate that I was friends with, I don't know how I would have met anybody. Because I, like, didn't talk to people in class, you know? I did end up joining a church group by accident in college because of this. <laughs> but <laughs> I'll tell you the story. Okay, so basically, um, the fir oh no, there's an ad about to play. It says it's starting soon. Oh no, I can't stop it. I can't snooze it. That's so annoying! Oh my, I'll wait until it's over. Because I can't stop it. I don't know when it's gonna start. Is it gonna start now? Oh my god, basically my roommate, first week of school, there was like a concert happening on the Friday. Um, and, oh, it's starting. Never mind, I have to wait. <laughs> the ad started finally. Okay, I'll, I'll be, I'll, I'll tell it in like 30 seconds or whatever. Um, <laughs> cliffhanger. <laughs> cliffhanger. Uh, okay, let me give him like, I don't know, some sort of outfit or something and we'll give him some shorts too. It's good to have a chance to dress up the Sims. This is probably for the best. Um, okay, sleepwear. I don't really care what you wear, buddy, but you want like a nice, this looks cozy. Party wear. Um, I don't know. I don't really want to wear any accessories. I'm not really vibing with the eyeball ring, so I might uh, get rid of that one. <laughs> I might remove the uh, the eyeball ring, I think. <laughs> Controversial, I know, but I'm, I wasn't really feeling it. Um, okay, I'm actually kind of liking that. And then he's got swimwear, hot weather, cold weather. Okay, he looks a lot better now. I'm feeling better about this. I am feeling better about this. Um, Nove and Pebbles and Angie and Sammy and Atomic and Sally and Remix and Megan. Thank you all for the resubs. Thank you so much. You have a pickle? Oh, Christine, that's fun. <laughs> that's fun. If there's no eyeball ring, is it even a same? Yeah, uh, eyeball ring is important, I guess. Okay. The ads should definitely be over. I can see when the ads are over, and they should all definitely be over now. So nobody should have any ads more anymore. Um, okay, so basically... Freshman year of college. <laughs> first week of school. They have a lot of like events the first week of school. Um, and one of my roommates really wanted to, uh, oh, sorry, back up. All of my roommates were like, we should go to the concert thing together on the Friday. That'd be kind of fun. There was five of us total. And we were like, okay, we'll do that. That'll be nice. And I was like, this is good because I can meet these girls and get to know them better. And one of them was like, hey, there's this like club barbecue thing for a club that I want to join that's doing the barbecue before the concert. Do you want to go there first? And we were all kind of like, yeah, we'll go. That's fine. I'm down for it. They're going to have food there. So that seems nice. Um, I ate chips because it was like a barbecue. <laughs> um, but anyway, we got there. Um, turns out it was for a church group. I'm not religious. I never have been. Like, I didn't really intend to join a church group in college, but that's okay. I'll meet some people. I like I'd like to meet some people. And while they were there, everyone was super nice. They were all like really trying to get like exchange phone numbers and get to know you. And they were like, you're coming to the meeting on Tuesday, the meeting on Tuesday, like really being like the meeting on Tuesday. And I was kind of like, what do you do at the meeting on Tuesday? Like, I really want to know what goes on at, th at the group. Like I was kind of curious to find out what it was like there. Well, 
silly me didn't really think through the fact that if I went to the meeting on Tuesday, I have now been to the meeting on Friday and the meeting on Tuesday. They think I'm in the group. <laughs> they think I'm in the club. And I liked them. Most of them were pretty nice. Um, and so, and so also my roommate always wanted to go because she wanted to be in the club and she was going to go like every Tuesday. So every Tuesday she'd be like, Kayla, are you going to come? And then I would be like, oh, I don't want to leave you alone. And like, you don't want to go alone, but you really want to go. So I would just go with her for like a whole semester. I went, <laughs> they weren't a cult. They were nice. They were progressive. It was okay. Um, it wasn't like that. It was, <laughs> it was okay, but like I did go for an entire semester and then I started streaming on Tuesday. So, oh no, I can't go. But I always felt really out of place because I, I felt like I was a fraud, right? Because I'm not, I'm not religious. Um, I don't think they may, maybe would have cared, but I've never been religious. I didn't like grow up going to church. Like I, I don't know. I, I felt like, uh, really out of place and I was, and they were, a lot of them were like coming from far away to like go to, uh, my college. And so when they moved here, they were like looking for a, a church to go to on Sundays. Um, and, and so, uh, they were, they would like talk about like church hopping and like, um, like, oh, we're going to go try out this one this weekend and that one next weekend. And they'd be like, Kayla, do you want to come? Or like, Kayla, what church do you go to? Cause you're from here. And I would be like, oh no, I'm busy on Sunday. <laughs> Cause I didn't want them to not like me, <laughs> but I, I, I wasn't going to go to church on Sunday. Cause that's, I, <sighs> anyway, um. So that's how I joined a church group by accident in college. But, but if I didn't do that, I wouldn't have talked to anybody. So maybe it's for the best that I did talk to someone and have some, uh, well, one friend. I had a friend and it was, it was okay. Um, but <laughs> I felt like a real fraud and I was, I was a fraud. I was real pretendy. Also, the other bad thing about me is um, they would like sing. They would basically do like a sermon and then sing at the church group. And they all knew all the songs. I didn't know the songs. I never knew the songs. So I felt like, oh no, I don't know the songs. <laughs> and they would put the songs on the screen, but um, like, cause they had like a projector. It was like in a classroom on, on Tuesday nights. But I wouldn't, um, <laughs> I wasn't gonna sing. So I would just stand there and mouth the words on the screen. Cause I didn't want to sing them cause I was too embarrassed and I didn't know the words. So I would just stand there and mouth the words on the screen. <laughs> cause I didn't know what to do, but I felt like I had to fit in a little bit. So I would just mouth the words on the screen. Anyway, that's what, that's that, um, yeah. So. <laughs> I know that everybody, everybody does that, right? Everybody does that. But, um, <laughs> that's, yeah. So, pro tip, mouthing watermelon makes it look like you're singing. You can't just mouth watermelon over and over again. The things like, I love you, Lord Jesus. And you're like, watermelon, watermelon, watermelon. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> How do they not catch you? Well, because they were looking at the screen. They probably knew I wasn't singing. They could probably tell they couldn't hear me. They aren't gonna say anything about it though, are they? <laughs> um, but anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I was gonna get engaged, wasn't I? Should I go propose over here by these uh, picnic tables? <laughs> Well, yeah, when they asked what church I went to and I always like had to find a way to dodge the question, they knew that I, they, they knew, but they weren't going to say anything. That'd be weird to like, to point out, you know, what are they going to do? Kick you out? No, their whole point is they want you to feel welcome. So, um, anyway, they were nice. They were nice. It wasn't like that, <laughs> but, um, uh, anyway, I, I'm a dirty liar and it's embarrassing. So the club watching the stream. No, stop. Don't, don't, don't. Shh. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> so good to see you all. <laughs> I, I was fun getting to know you all. I went to like a Halloween party with them. It was fun. I wouldn't have been able to go otherwise. I didn't have any friends. It was good for me. 
But it, it, it is so typical of me to like get myself into that situation though. It is so typical to get myself into that situation. <laughs> yes, they celebrated Halloween. Guys. <laughs> What do you mean? You're thinking of like, it, it wasn't like that. I think you're thinking of like extremely religious, like not, like, dare I say, not nice people. They were nice people. They were progressive. They celebrated Halloween. It wasn't like that. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of Christians celebrate Halloween. That's not abnormal. Um, they weren't like, you know how there's a bad Christian stereo. It wasn't like that. They weren't like that kind. As far as I know, the ones that I was friends with weren't like that. So, it was okay. <laughs> I know that we, a lot of people have uh, negative associations with religious people though, and you're valid because you've had bad experiences, but. Um, I don't know. It wasn't, I was gonna propose and he left. It wasn't like that though. But it's a Florida church group. Yeah, but at the biggest university in Florida, one of the biggest universities in the country. Like, it's not that, <laughs> it's not, I don't know. It really isn't that like that, so. Only know mean Christians too. I knew a lot of mean Christians in school. So I'm with you. But this one, these ones weren't like that, so. That helps. Um, but, anyway. Um, it just depends. It just depends. There was also some scary church groups. There were like guys who would stand on podiums with uh, megaphones and like scream about you. Jesus is king. Jesus is king. You're a sinner like that. And they would have the megaphone and stand there on the, so that was different vibes. <laughs> There's all kinds of that that goes on. All kinds of that that goes on. That's, that just happens like everywhere though. Um, so. <laughs> You have this downtown? Yeah! Have you seen that woman on TikTok? She like goes round to universities and does that to people. Um, that's the type you're used to? Yeah. That kind of thing definitely exists. <laughs> and they would yell at you. Like they'd be mean. They would bully you. I don't know. There's a lot of weird things that go on on campuses like that. There's also people that try and get you to sign petitions so that they can sell your information. And they like really harass you about it. They'll like try and stop you and like really try and make you sign it. And they're everywhere. Like they're, they'll like cut, they'll like block the whole pathway so you can't really get through them. And you have to be really good about being like, no, I'm busy. Be lined to class. Cause they're trying to stop you. It's weird. <laughs> It's weird, um, but anyway. I went to UCF, Silly Sunflower, the University of Central Florida. Um, but anyway, did she, Chloe? I'm really sorry that happened to you. Um, yeah, I've definitely had some bad experiences <laughs> with angry religious people like that. Um, I think that's what makes the fact that I joined a church group by accident so funny because if you knew me in real life, you'd think this is the most ridiculous thing in the entire world. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm sorry to hear if you've had a bad experience. That sucks. Um, that really, really sucks. Okay, well, I was gonna propose to you, but you keep trying to run away, so it's now a bad time. There were so many UCF people in your cult-like friendship group or internship. Oh, yeah. Well, UCF is a huge school. They currently have, hang on. More than 70,000 students. So, it's unsurprising that you know there were people that you knew that went there. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, there's a lot of students at UCF, so, um, I'm sorry, but a university in Central Florida sounds fake. Louis, it's one of the biggest universities in the country. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it's an Orlando university. Um, can you ask how I chose UCF? I grew up in Orlando, Emily, and I decided I didn't want to go far away from home. I was worried about, uh, like, I, I almost went to UF and I decided that I was worried about moving up to Gainesville and then not being able to stream from my dorm 
or like, I guess I didn't stream yet, mostly just record videos, because doing YouTube was really important to me. Um, and so I was like, well, I could live on campus. I had a, a scholarship to UCF. Um, I was very lucky in that sense. I also got a higher scholarship to UCF than I did to the other school that I got into. So I, that was the main deciding factor. But also if I stay closer to home, if I had to, I could like leave the PC at my parents' house and then like film videos on the weekend or whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, but I ended up being okay. But that was, that was part of it was that I like, I grew up nearby. Um, I got a big scholarship to it. So um, it worked out all right for me. Um, okay, I'm gonna try and propose in the middle of the street now. That's my goal. Oh, we're not in the street anymore. We're not in the, in the street anymore. Um, really local, honey? That's awesome. That's super cool. Um, what did I study? I have a history degree. Um, so I studied history when I was in school. Um, <laughs> okay, who doesn't want to get engaged in the street? Yeah, they should have. It'd be fun. Their car could just come right by, you know? Um, elope? You want me to elope in the street? <laughs> Do you want to elope in the street? I will. I'll do it. I wish to elope in the street. Elope immediately with Kendall. Just right here in the street. If a car comes, then a car comes. So be it. Oh, it didn't hit me. Dang it. Dang it. It's kind of cute though. <laughs> okay. Um. Did your Minjen get engaged in the street as a car drove through them? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. The cars, they won't hit them, but it'll just drive right through them. So. They'll like be glitched in the middle of the car. So. Um. Yeah, guys, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, like, start, like, some sort of religious argument. I was just telling a funny story about how I joined a church group by accident and I'm not religious. That was my only intention. I didn't mean to, like, start something in chat. You're all free to believe whatever you want to believe or not believe whatever you want to believe. That's totally fine. We are all allowed to just do whatever we want. <laughs> and I don't want to, like, start something. I don't- that's not my intention, so. Um, we usually avoid that kind of thing, but I brought it up, so. <laughs> uh, just let's- let's all be kind, you know. Um, I take pictures. Very cute. Um, your dinner arrived? Nice, Miv. Very nice. Um, no, Clash, I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm just speaking very broadly to everyone in chat. It's, it's a thing. I don't want it to be a thing, you know? I don't, uh, should we move in with him? Like, now? What do you think? Should we go, like, try for a baby or something? Like, okay, let's go. He's scared of death. Yeah, I don't blame him. <laughs> he just got married in the street. I'd be scared too. There's cars coming. <laughs> get a dog? We have a dog. I guess we could move them out and get them a dog. Should we, get, should we try for a baby too? I'll go try for baby in the bush. Might as well. Um, okay. Oh, they're not freezing to death, don't worry. <laughs> um, <laughs> they're, uh, they're, they're blue because their mom um, was an alien, so. Okay. Okay. Ba -ba -ba. Let me go, wait, did I do it? Wait, let me take a pregnancy test first and then I will. Um, oh, I can't press escape because it's glitched. So annoying. Um, okay, okay. <laughs> Guys, I'm begging you, I'm begging you. Can we, um, can we, can we stop talking about this? <laughs> I'm literally begging you. I don't want anyone to argue. I just don't want anyone to argue. I'm I'm really begging you. I just I I want to just hang out, okay? Um I I really just want to hang out. I was just trying to tell a funny story. <laughs> I was just trying to tell a funny story. 
All right, I'm gonna go move these two in, I think, um, out to themselves together. Um, there is a floating book in the bathroom, yeah. Um, okay. Babe. <laughs> yeah, no, don't worry. Everything's fine. It's just, let's, uh, you know. When are Dan and I gonna do a wedding? Oh my god, I don't know. I need to, so much to worry about. Whenever I talk about this, people are like, I thought you were already married. <laughs> but um, basically when Dan and I got married, obviously we had to just go to the courthouse really quickly and get paperwork filed. And like there was a travel ban, so his parents couldn't be there. Um, uh, a lot of stuff like that. But um, we would like to eventually have like a wedding party at some point. Um, that's, that's kind of my, uh, oh, don't do that. That's kind of my, my dream there. I would still like to do that at some point. I just don't know when, maybe in a couple years. Um, but it's too much going on. <laughs> um, okay. I mean, a lot of people did that, uh, had like COVID things going on during the time they got married, did stuff like that. Um, so that is um, not abnormal. Sorry, I was just getting texts from my dad. Um, my brother and my dad and my mom just went to vote and my brother voted for the first time, so that's cool. You all should vote too. <laughs> Speaking of midterms, I already voted. I voted by mail. They already counted my vote. I tracked my ballot. Um, but you all should vote too, especially if you live in Florida. Please, I am literally begging you. I'm begging you to go and vote. It's so important. I'm begging you. The situation is not good, okay? But look, anybody is better than Ron DeSantis, okay? I'm just gonna say it. Literally anybody is better than Ron DeSantis, okay? Anyone, anyone will do. <laughs> please vote for Charlie Crist, I'm literally begging you. I didn't want to either, but please, the guy, as far as I'm concerned for the next two weeks, he is great. <laughs> anyone is better than Ron DeSantis. <laughs> Oh, it's so important. It's so important. Please, um, I'm sure your election and your state is also very important. Um, please, please go and vote. Midterms are really important. I know a lot of people don't vote in, in these elections. They only vote in presidential ones, but the local elections are more important. Um, these ones actually affect you directly. So, um, please, 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 please. Um, okay. Who's Ron? Ron DeSantis is the governor of Florida. Um, he is a bad man. He is a bad, bad man. So I'm speaking because I live in Florida, so I was just talking about him, but um, there's very urgent <laughs> uh, need to, uh, in a lot of states, get rid of some bad men. So um, please vote wherever you are in the country, please vote. Um, okay, I think, where should we move to? Maybe I'll move them back into the old house in Oasis Springs. Um, okay. Let's move in, shall we? What about the dog? We can get them a dog. We can go into Cass and get them a dog. I like that idea. That's kind of cute. Um, okay. Okay. Thank you very much. I would like a dog, please. Which one should I pick? Oh! Want this one? Give him a greyhound named Bus? Oh, I'll do that! <laughs> we can get a greyhound and name it Bus, like how ours is named Gus. That's better. Sorry. Um, problem solved. There's Bus the greyhound. Um, you're terrified for next week's result? Um, I'm, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very stressful, this situation that we're in, but maybe Bus and Gus can be friends. So how about the Sims, everybody? Am I right? Um, religion and politics in one stream? I, well, we usually get more into politics than religion. I guess, I guess I'm less afraid of offending people with politics. If you're a Republican, you can leave. I don't really care. Uh, I don't really want to offend religious people, but if you're a Republican, you can leave. Like, I don't know, that's fine. <laughs> I'll ban you, so. This is a more common occurrence <laughs> in this stream. Uh, we've been there, done that, so. 
Anyway, um, I'm home and I have less Sims now, so. <laughs> Is it your first time voting this year because you're turning 18 on Saturday? That's awesome, that's super exciting. Um, well, happy birthday and congrats on your first opportunity to vote. That's super cool. Uh, that is super, super, super cool. Um, you're cry laughing? <laughs> well. <laughs> um, all right, all right. Let's see. Um, I will get rid of this. He's gonna eat his little snacks. Maybe we can try and move in the boyfriend tomorrow and then we can decorate the bedroom and stuff for the kid, which will be kind of fun. Um, oh, that's exciting, Chloe, that your first vote was in 2020. That's, that's cool that you got to vote in that election. I wasn't old enough yet. I wasn't 18 yet, so. Um, but yeah, the Republicans are like the right wing um, in, in America, Boggle, yeah. So, <sighs> you know, the bad ones. <laughs> oh, okay. So we can all go to bed now. Thank you very much. I would like to sleep through the night. Um, in 2020, oh, sorry, did I say 2020? I meant the 2016 election. What am I saying? I was thinking when Trump was first elected. Obviously I could vote in the 2020 election. That was my first presidential election. I was thinking in 2016 when I was in high school, I couldn't vote. Obviously I could vote in the 2020 election and I did um, in 2016 is what I meant. I wasn't 18 yet in 2016. Um, Sorry, all the time has blurred together. Um, what I meant was 2016. <laughs> 2020 was my first presidential election that I voted in, so. Um, Jay, my love, uh, I think that you need to tread very carefully, friend. Um, so so we don't allow hateful rhetoric here in, in our chat. Um, so if you're gonna to do and say things and vote for politicians that are going to actively try and take away people's rights, we don't, um, support that and we don't allow that here in our stream um so that's why <laughs> um that's why we ban republicans when they say things that are hateful and harmful in my twitch chat um so you uh i suggest you tread very carefully with what you say um but uh whenever this comes up um someone always types something nasty and they end up getting banned they don't get banned for no reason they get banned for doing nasty things like um i don't know being anti-abortion or god forbid worse things so we ban them <laughs> um it's a real simple real simple deal so um hope you understand you don't get to use my chat to spread that kind of stuff okay auto lights save game um Oh, they said not one, just curious. Okay, sorry, I got nervous. <laughs> I've been burned one too many times. Back in like early COVID, oh my God. This doesn't happen as much anymore because I think they got over it. But like when the vaccines first came out and when people were like first getting vaccinated and I was being very vocal on stream about how you should get vaccinated. Um, oh my God, you have no idea what we had to go through. I'm telling you some days, we'd ban like 20 people. And I wouldn't even, I like, sometimes I provoke them, okay? I get it. Sometimes I say things that provoke them. I poke the beast. But a lot of times I'd be like, oh, I have my appointment to get my vaccine tomorrow. That's not like a controversial thing to say. And they'd be like, if you get it, you're gonna die. And then I have to ban them. And they come out of nowhere. Oh my God, there's varying degrees of it. But like the anti-vaxxers were, it was something else. I have never experienced anything like that. The day I streamed, when I got my first dose of the COVID vaccine, I streamed in the morning before I left um, for my appointment because I was worried I was gonna feel sick after. So I was like, I'll stream before and then I'll go. And so I was talking about it like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get off stream and go get my COVID vaccine. I've never had to ban so many people in one day in my entire life. I was I was in such a bad mood. I was so angry. It was, I, it was like 50 of them. I'm not even exaggerating. You, you say the word vaccine and then like five would type. It was, it was amazing. It was amazing. And they were just normal. I thought they were typing like normal about the Sims the whole time. And then I would be like, yeah, I'm getting the vaccine. Anti-vax. <laughs> Anti-vax nightmare. Um, <laughs> um, but anyway, it's really something else. It's really something else. So <laughs> they are, they still exist, but they don't come out as often anymore. Um, 
I guess because maybe it's like it's it's less politicized right now. It's not being talked about as often just in general. So I don't know. Get your boosters, though. <laughs> Get your boosters, though. Um, but anyway, it was really, really. Um, OK, go. No, no. Oh, you're going to get rid of it. Um. <laughs> Or did you clean it up? Okay, maybe not. I'm not sure. Hard to say. Hard to say. Um, Lil, I'm sorry. This whole thing, I I can't believe. I can't believe that anti-vax is like a standpoint that ha people have. Like, I can't believe people have that belief. I just, it's so hard for me to wrap my head around this. Because if there is a thing that could hurt me, and you're offering me something that could make it not hurt me, give it to me. I will take it. Like, what are you... That's not even a question. <laughs> like, what, and it's going to help other people not get sick too? Like, it's a big win for everyone. It's a marvel of modern science. Like, give us the vaccine. Like, I just, I really, really struggle to understand the anti-vax perspective. It makes no sense to me. It makes no sense to me. Like, <laughs> it's just so confusing. It's like a miracle that we have this. Like, why would you, why would you say no to it? But it's, oh my God. <sighs> Conspiracy. That's why. That's how. Um, but anyway, like all through COVID, I know a lot of you know this, know this already because I talk about it a lot, but my dad has cancer, right? Um, and he's like actively on chemo. Obviously his immune system is very weakened. All through COVID, we have, my whole family has been so, so terrified of my dad getting sick or of like us getting sick and giving it to him. Like we've all been so worried for years about this. And then you give us an option to have this vaccine. My dad can have like multiple, multiple doses. Like it's, it's such a, a relief, you know? Um, but anyway, <laughs> um, I, I would never um, pass up something like that. So banning myself, see a Simsy? What? Because oh, you're anti vax <laughs> Their chat is reset. They said Republican Brit here and I'm not leaving. Wait, you're British and you're getting upset about American politics talk? I can't. I just can't. I can't. I can't. How is that? I'm telling you, they... <laughs> what do you mean Republican Brit? What does that mean? I'm so, honestly, honestly, like, <laughs> I know you're probably trying to say you're like, what, the conservative party in the UK, but like, why are you calling yourself a Republican? Oh, <laughs> I can't. I just... I need to, I need to do something else right now. Can we like move in my Sims boyfriend or something? <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. Wow. I'm gonna drink some water. <laughs> Save my game. Uh. <laughs> Um, oh boy. Okay. 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 Wow. The internet. Wow. Okay. Channel serve, maybe. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Um, I'm telling you, every time- there wasn't even that many. I think we only banned like a handful of them just then, but I know I poked the beast. It's okay. But it wasn't that bad. You ate too much chocolate? Oh, I've got some candy downstairs. Maybe that's what I'll have for dinner. <laughs> oh, I don't know how they managed to make it this far. I think that's part of what's so funny to me. Like, if I, if I disagreed with someone so fundamentally, like, why do you, I don't know. But I guess for us, it's like a moral thing. And for them, they don't think about it that way. So like, maybe that's why. But like, I would never hang out in a stream that I disagreed with so fundamentally. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Leah, Emily, George, and Venus, and Lilith, and Holly, and Brown Eye Girl, thank you all for the subs and stuff. Um, but anyway, anyway. Um. <laughs> You bought three bags of candy and only had six trick-or-treaters. Oh my God, I had 70 trick-or-treaters. 
my mom counted 70 came here my mom was really excited about it because we didn't know like what the vibes were gonna be like in my new neighborhood <laughs> since i moved um and my mom my parents house uh they don't really get a lot there's not a lot of kids in their neighborhood there never has been like ever since like there were kids when we were kids and now that like we have all kind of grown up there isn't really that many kids there's a couple toddlers that live down the street now but otherwise there isn't really a lot of kids in the neighborhoods so they don't really get a lot of trick-or-treaters so my mom was kind of excited to like come to my house and hand out candy just to see what the vibes were like and we got 70. that's a lot that is a lot um so that was kind of fun but anyway <laughs> you only got one i'm sorry funny i'm sorry you had hundreds Oh my god, do you live in like a neighborhood people travel to? Are you like one of those like destination neighborhoods people go to for candy? Um, why did you count the kids? My, we were just curious like how much candy we should buy next year, honestly, Annabeth. Um, I was just curious to know how many. My grandma's always counted how many trick-or-treaters she has too. Um, but anyway, turn the lights off, yeah. <laughs> well, I had enough candy. I bought like a couple big bags and we gave everybody a couple, pe well, mostly one piece. Some kids took <sighs> larger amounts, <laughs> but it's good to know so you can prepare for next year, right? Um, go through 12 bags in two hours. Oh my gosh, you get loads. Wow, that's wild. That's actually kind of cool. Okay, I'm gonna take a shower and then get the boyfriend to move in. That's my new plan. Um, okay. Set up a bowl and someone stole the bowl? <gasps> I saw a video on TikTok this morning. Um, it was like their ring camera. I'm not sure if I vibe with like sharing ring camera footage of like other people's kids. But they posted a video on TikTok of like a kid stealing their candy. And it was like their ring footage, like their camera. And they had just put the bowl out, just closed the door to go eat dinner. And then the first kid came and cleared the whole bowl out. Like the first kid. <laughs> After they had just put it out, so the first kid came and took all of it. Um, but anyway, I don't really know if I vibe with um, uh, sharing footage like that. Um, but I don't know. It's funny, but like, it's a child, so. Um, okay, serve breakfast. Breakfast scramble. Yes. Um... Do you want to try again? Pancakes? I guess I probably should have. I was going to go on a date. And then didn't. So that's my bad. Well, I can still go. I just want to get him to move in. So maybe I could just invite him over. And then ask him to move in. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just got so distracted. <laughs> I just like sat here humming to myself. All right, Eric's on his way over. Eric has a daughter. Um, so we can, once we uh, ask him to move in, we can ask her to move in too, which will be kind of fun. Um, ask to join household. Um, so, Miss Lollipop, thank you for the raid. Would you like to see my graves? <laughs> Would you like my grave update? <laughs> we have 90. So good to see you. Where did he go? I'm trying to get my boyfriend to live with us. 80, sorry. God, not 90. I wish I had 90. I have 80. It's been a it's been a rough 20 minutes. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> We've had a, an interesting 20 minutes. <laughs> so 80 graves, not 90. Now I'm a liar. I, it gets bigger every time because like today my Sims dog died. So that wasn't really my choice. Ew, I don't want their money. Okay, I'm, I'll cheat my money back down. I don't want their money. Bad, bad. Ah! No. Go away. Go away. I don't want that. Oh no, kid's not at school. Go to school! Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go see if we can give her a bit of a makeover too. Um, so we're playing the Not So Berry Challenge and we just moved in uh, my, my Gen 4 Sims boyfriend and his daughter. Um, and so uh, we're going to, I think, give the daughter some new outfits or something, I guess. Um, but 
Anyway, the money? Well, I don't want the money. Aren't they married? No, these two Sims aren't married. Eric and uh, Grave aren't married yet. They will get married though, but we're not even engaged. Um, is he an alien? Yeah, this Sim's mom was an alien. She's dead though. That's why he's blue, gray, whatever. Remove 40k though? Yeah, I don't want all the money. I'm trying to have less. I'm trying to have less money. Deleted yours and kept theirs? What do you mean? You had like 32k, but now you have 20? Yeah, I'm trying to have less. I know I gave myself less money. I had too much money. I want less money. I know that he brought over like less than I uh, deleted, but I had too much money and I wanted less money. <laughs> My sims have too much. I wanted to have less, so I did it on purpose. The the uh, yellow gen sim, honey, makes like 4,000 simoleons a day. It's too much. So I, I'm, I intentionally deleted too much money because I don't like having too much. It's not as fun. So, it's, uh, unlike real life, <laughs> money in The Sims is not a good thing. <laughs> okay, um, I'm not sure what I'll dress her in. I like that, that's kind of cute. Maybe like, oh, the pink one's kind of fun. We get, we have too much money. I'd rather my Sims have to work a little bit harder for their money. That's why I did that. Um, okay. What's Bonnie's trait? She has the geek trait, it looks like. Um, I think, do you want some little sneakers? Maybe? There's some pink ones, that's kind of cute. Oh wait, I want the, no, go back. I wanna have the little watch. She's got an Apple watch. <laughs> Iconic, okay. Um, she can wear a lot of pink, I think. No, I'm not gonna dress her like she's from the purple gen. I'm gonna let um, her future siblings dress like the purple gen, but I think I'll let her, um, just wear like any clothes. Cause I feel like she didn't ask to be a part of this not so very nonsense. Like she didn't ask to be a part of this Potts family. <laughs> this just happened to her, probably against her will. So <laughs> I won't force her to, to dress in my uh, not so very color scheme or anything like that. Um, it's okay, she'll be okay. Um, bu bum. Maybe I'll wear socks. Are there like, is there a cute hairstyle that has bangs, but like the hair up? See, this could be kind of fun. Just for like the athletic wear, like maybe we pinned her hair up a little bit more. Um, just when she's like, you know, exercising. Share to gallery? I will once, once we're uh, done here, because people wanted to have the boyfriend, so. Um, okay. Uh, Kate and Daisy and Star and Lanfo, thank you for the subs. Oh my goodness. Um, oh, Jacob, oh no. <laughs> okay, maybe you can wear a little bit of purple though. This is, oh yeah, sorry, in case you're just tuning in, this isn't uh, Graves' kid, this is Graves' uh, step kid. It's Graves' boyfriend's child, and they just moved into our house. Um, so that's why we're giving her a new outfit. But you didn't miss anything. We didn't like have a baby or anything like that without you. Don't worry. <laughs> um, this is uh, just just uh, our new stepdaughter who just moved in. So I kind of like that outfit actually. It's kind of cute. I like the blue one. And then cold weather. Um. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Some of these are kind of fun. Some of them are a little bit much. <laughs> it's hard to say what's best. I think a little coat is good though. Oh, you just had a fire in your Sims game? Oh no, I hope it uh, all worked out okay. I'm so sorry. Uh, what eyebrows does she have? Maybe you can have those instead. They didn't get married yet, but they're going to, Sophie. Um, they're going to. Gen four of the Not So Berry Challenge. Okay, I'll upload these sims for you all. 
in case you would like to see them. And then maybe we can have some babies soon. I don't know. We have to get married. I want to get married. I want to have a wedding. So we will do that first. Um, okay. Well, thank you all for hanging. I'm not going to get off just yet, but thank you all for hanging out today. It's been fun. If not a little bit chaotic and slightly scary. But that was only the end of the stream. <laughs> the beginning was all right. <laughs> uh, but thank you for hanging out. It's been fun. So we had our moments. Who got married in the street then? Oh, that was his sister. Grave's sister got married in the street. Not, not quite grave. Um, but close. Okay, so this is going to be... Um... Well, do you know what? This is going to be the room that belongs to... Uh, maybe I can give this room to the stepdaughter. Because it's a bit bigger, and then we can leave this one, the smaller one, to be a future nursery. I think that makes sense. Um, maybe she can have, like, a pink room. She has a lot of pink that she's been... Oh, that's kind of cute. Or we could do this. This has like some hints of purple, which is appropriate. Hi, Dad. What's up? Oh, that's the good rocket that we unlocked. We have a bunch of stuff that we've unlocked. See, I have too much money. I'm telling you, I don't want this. <laughs> I want my Sim to have less money. <laughs> it's got, it's just, it's, it's too far. Okay, let's see if we can get like a nice, um, bed that maybe is a little bit expensive. I mean, this one could probably work. I like that pink swatch. So, get rid of more? No, it's okay. It's just going to increase again, so we'll just accept it for now. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see. Maybe if we got like a nice purple. Or does this have a pretty, oh, this has like, um. maybe I could try and draw on the blue that is in the walls a little and get like a cute fuzzy rug. Or is that not bright enough? Maybe it isn't bright enough. The purple could be fun. I kind of like it. Okay, we will get... Is that our new bed? No, it, this bed is from Seasons, actually. Um, so it's been around for a while. Um, no. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> We could always use that. That has like some fun colors. My escape key doesn't work. Even for this, I'm trying to get rid of the item. Science table, oh, the science table could be fun. I like that. I like that. Okay. Fun concept. Maybe I'll put it like right here. It has some cute colors too. Um. Okay, we can get like a little dresser as well. Maybe this one, cause she seems like she's kind of fancy. Um, okay. No, I don't like that. Yeah, it definitely is a bug with the escape key, but it's really annoying. <laughs> It's definitely a bug, but it's a quite annoying bug. Um, this sim's gonna have a nice room. Hopefully she'll like it. Um, let's get a pretty desk too. Maybe like, I don't know. This one from Cats and Dogs is always pretty good. We previously had a real gamer computer, so maybe Maybe, oh, it comes in pink. I like the rainbow better though. Uh, but maybe we could have the gamer computer back. And 
this we can try and bring in some of the other colors i don't know just try and match it all or something and then we can try and get a bunch of toys thinking like um pax parenthood i don't know i think it'd be fun to have like the toy box just kind of hanging out over there. We could put like some mess in the room too. Cause that makes this area, I feel like it makes it feel more lived in. Um, can kids use the gaming computer? Oh, could your like child age Sim not use the gaming computer? I don't think I knew that was a thing. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see. If if she can't use it, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> I guess we can just um, uh, make her deal with it until she can have a little, until she gets a little bit older or whatever. Um, I kind of like the smiley face. I think that's kind of cute. Um, yeah, I wish this toy box was usable too. It kind of stinks that it's not. I don't really understand like why the toy box this one isn't usable um i'd love to see more toy box items um okay um, um maybe i'll use this one i can do it in the pinky purple color. I'm not sure if the rainbow one is like too much cause that looks like the wall, you know? So maybe I'll keep it all pink. Um, and we can try and get some cute artwork too. Maybe something like, honestly, maybe a poster could be good. That's kind of fun. And then maybe we can try and get a couple more like cluttered type of items. Like, there's the little pencil case, or pencil box, which is kind of useful. Um, okay. Maybe I'll put a couple little paintings up here on this wall. I think this is kind of cute. That's a nice room. That is a nice room. And then we can obviously, like, add to it, um update it and stuff as she gets a little bit older and then this will eventually be a baby's room but i don't really need it yet <laughs> um okay okay well there you go let me put these pancakes away hopefully she likes it when she gets home from school today <laughs> um hopefully she's into it um, 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 do you want to serve lunch clam chowder? Who's gonna carry the baby? I'm not sure yet, Serenity. I think I'll probably just have Grave carry the baby because that means Grave will live longer. Because <laughs> you don't age when you're pregnant. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it, but that's how I feel. Um, I might make Grave carry it so that uh, he lives longer. <laughs> um, it, it sounds like fun, so. Okay, the window's glitched. Oh, I'm sure it is. The windows glitch out a lot, so there might be a glitched window somewhere, but. Um, Grave? Yeah, the Sims name is Grave. Um, oh, oh no. Oh no. Ah, Giggles, as far as I'm aware, didn't they make like new kinds of bundles? Um, I feel like the store has new kinds of bundles. I think they got rid of bundles because the base game was going to be free and then made some like isn't there like some new default bundle thingies? I, I feel like it's not a win, but I think there are still some kinds of bundles that are for sale. Um, but I think it has to do with the base game going free. It like threw off everything. There was like a Halloween bundle and stuff. So I think that kind of thing still exists. It's just, I don't know if you can customize them. Um, and I know there is some talk about high school years and like why you can't bundle high school years. Um, that's pretty common. Um, how, like, when a pack first comes out, you can't bundle the, like, newest pack yet. Um, so I'm not surprised. It's annoying, but I'm not super surprised. 
um, that we can't bundle high school years yet. Hopefully they'll make a bundle with it soon. But they usually, with the most recent packs, they like don't put it on sale for a while and stuff like that. Um, they won't let you bundle if you have too many packs already. I don't know. I don't know how it works, Shelby. I, I can't test it. I don't spend a lot of time like on Origin looking at bundles because like I already have the older packs that would have been in the Halloween bundle and stuff like that, obviously. So, um, but anyway, it's weird. It's a weird thing. I hope they'll change it more, but you have a lot of packs they won't show. Interesting. And I guess if you already have like a bunch of the stuff packs, then the bundles, if they come with stuff packs, maybe you won't be able to use them. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's very weird. I'm the wrong person to ask about it though. And I hope that they come back with better bundles. <laughs> they should do a legacy bundle with like toddler stuff, parenthood and high school years. Do you know what? That would be kind of cool. That feels like a good thing to bundle together. Like like the family gameplay stuff, how they had, how they had the Halloween one with like the cult sims and stuff. Um, that's a cool idea. Let us decide the bundle, Sims team. <laughs> Let us make it up, Sims team. Um, but anyway, I, I don't know. Sims team's weird. Sims is weird. The bundle situation's weird. The game's free now, so all the sale stuff is weird. Everything's just weird right now. <laughs> Everything's just weird right now. Um, and what pack did I get that fireplace? Oh my gosh, this one is from Eco Lifestyle. It's pretty good. I really like it. Um, I think though, uh, I'm probably going to get off stream here in a few minutes. Um, we made a lot of progress. We've got a new boyfriend and a stepdaughter. We're probably going to have a baby soon. Um, <laughs> oh, Snowy, that was how the old bundles worked. I think it's different now, but again, I'm not really sure. I'm the wrong person to ask. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out today, chat. It's been really fun. Um, we definitely had some moments, <laughs> but it's been really fun. Um... <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow. I'm gonna play Sims tomorrow again. Uh, we're gonna build. I was thinking about the exact thing that I wanted to build. I wrote down <clears throat> that I wanted to build a Rusty Bell pub. That's the name of it. And it's named Rusty Bell after my Sim from my Legacy Challenge on YouTube's ex-boyfriend. We almost married a guy named Rusty. His name would have been Rusty Bell. <laughs> and I want to make a Rusty Bell pub tomorrow. Um... <laughs> Um, so I think that's the plan. We'll be back at, uh, in like 24 hours. We'll play some more Sims and stuff. Um, thank you for hanging out. Um, I am going to go and find someone to raid, I think. Probably someone who is also playing The Sims, which should be kind of fun. Um, I am looking forward to it. Let me go and see. Oh, actually, you know what? My friend Claire... Looks like she's gonna do the 100 baby challenge today, and that sounds like fun. So I might go over there and say hello. Um, but thank you, thank you for hanging out tonight, everybody. It has been a lot of fun today. Um, I hope you have a good rest of your night. Happy Wednesday, <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow. The stream schedule is gonna be kind of weird this weekend because I'm streaming tomorrow and then in the morning on Friday, and then I can't stream this weekend because I'm going to my grandparents' house. Um, it's my grandpa's 90th birthday. So I'm gonna spend the weekend with my grandparents, so I won't be around at stream this weekend, um, but it'll be fun. So I'll catch you all tomorrow, we'll play some Sims, and then I'll catch you all later, okay? Okay, go say hi to Claire. I love you, I miss you. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> and stop streaming.